Oh no, I forgot to sing. Hello everyone, Vasifir. Welcome to a normal stream, but kind of like a break because yesterday we finished uh all in order. And tomorrow we're gonna be starting uh Flynn Crimson or Son of Crimson because it comes out tomorrow, so I can't play today. So I uh, figured we're gonna play some uh, Final Fantasy 14 because uh I have to pay for this game. <laughs> so uh I kind of want to put in some time plus i was a uh, i got a bunch of new gear so heck yeah but mostly how come the doggo cam doesn't see jada uh, but mostly they're uh i was wanting to work on getting my archer up because i want to play or check out bard sometime because it looks cool um and so i logged in and apparently i do not remember getting to level 16 so dope but uh I had a level 17 quest, so I figured I would teleport here. Oh. I had some Lobo, Lobby stuff there, too. Um, but we got a quest over here. I wonder if there's any... Oh, there's a, le a Levy person. Let's see if you got anything worthwhile. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. Really? You only have one? It's kind of a bummer. Although, there's a bunch of quests over there, so maybe we'll uh, uh, end up questing here. Back in Goblin. Okay. I can do that. It's a bummer that you can't talk to people while on a mount. That'd be very helpful. Oh. Really? Right here? Alright, sure. Uh. I'll do this right now. Okay, where are we going, buddy? This way? I actually don't know where I'm going. Oh, can't do a wall mounted. Where am I going? All the way over there. Okay. Come here, buddy. Really should make that a... A command. Well, this thing needs to die, huh? Nope. I don't like that. Oh, I hate killing these guys, because I love them. Alright, back in... Nope. 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 Oh, buttons. You. You're gonna be too far away? Oh. Oh, worked. Hell yeah. Alright. Get him! Oh god, hello. What are you coming at me for? Purple weed. Get out of here. I don't wanna fuck with you. Come on, buddy. We doing things. I should probably get this open just in case there's some stuff I gotta do. Oh, it's only if they're slain? Okay. I don't need to kill anything. I beck God damn it. Come here, buddy. Am I on a time limit? Yes. Come on. Should have done some video editing today, but I lost track of time and ended up Working way later than normal. Are we gonna get jumped or something? Cause this is suspiciously easy. Is he coming? Oh lord, he coming! Oh shit, he's gonna hit him. Cause he's in the way. Damn it! It's fine. How is this not done? Oh, we did it. Okay. Hooray. That was oddly simple. Presents for me. Oh, he's got a normal quest? Maybe? Look at all these quests to do. Oh, that was to unlock them. Okay, hold on. There we go. Oops. Getting up for field craft, huh? Find some stuff. Cordial. Ooh, restores 300 GP. That's pretty neat. Alright. Let's not do the levies for now. We'll just do normal ones. Let's go pick those up. Or maybe I should go pick those up. Eh, let's go over here. Seems to be quite a few. 
These are marked. I'm assuming these must be dead. All right, I have this repelling shot thing. Oh, got some meats. Oh, that's the quest. Got it. I see. Sorry, guys, I need your meats. Here we go. All right, I don't have to kill you anymore. Ooh. Got our BA. What are these called again? Forgot the thing. See, I'm telling you, my freaking... My memory is so bad right now. I'm here to help. Alright, I just want to make sure I don't take threat like that. Stay away from me. Wow. Someone murdered the shit out of things here. Fates. That's what those are called. Do I go... Oh, what is that? Do I go in here? Did you get up there? Nope, those are just bad boys. I'm not gonna accidentally fall down a thing here. Probably should not be drinking coffee at 7.30 at night, but it's fine! Ooh. Cool. I'll take some of this, please. Finish the quest while I'm here. Nice. By the gods, the life that had sprouted here. I've never seen anything like it. But could... How could this be? Perhaps it was... Oh, uh... Hello there. Um, you must forgive me. I was just admiring the plans taking root about this Gobu's carcass. And well, I suppose I forgot myself in the moment. It's a Gobu car carcass? It is. I did not realize that until he said that. But truly, have you ever seen such lovely flowers? I would wager that not even the wealthiest Uldans could claim to have laid upon their eyes on these before. I can read. Plus, please, a favor, I beg you. I did not let these beauties out of my sight. But their soil is parched and the plants wilting. Would you fetch me some muddy spring water from the pond to the west? Sure, why not? Also, I suppose we can queue up for these. Did that say people needed DPS? I can't. That's bananas. Oh! Get this fate. For experience. Westward bound, huh? I'm here. Ow. Fuck off. God damn it. Fucking. Dogs. Stay away from me, dogs. Ow. Punch the shit out of me. Keep aggroing those dogs like an idiot. I don't know why I waste my heavy on him. He's a range person. I'm helping. Shit. Hopefully we can finish this before my Q goes away. I want to see what this does. Wee! Oh, that's dope. No, I'm not going to get it. It's fine. Seven seconds, come on. We did it. Go, go, go. Oh, I had like one second left. Holy crap. Mognipon. We shooting. Come on, super move, proc, please. There it goes. See, this is like, I I, I can't play DPS much because. I literally am just sitting here pushing one button over and over again. I mean, tanking is... you're pushing one button, but... It matters. You, you need to pay attention to stuff. You know, you gotta hold threat or something. 
DPS, you just kind of avoid getting murdered by any AoE stuff. And murder things as fast as you can. Okay. Well, we did that. Um, let's do... Oh, they need healers. Oh. If I do healers, I get some storm seals. Chonky boy! Alright. I can just go get this water. Please and thank you. Nice. Here you go, buddy. Please tell me you got the water. It would be Travis to lose this phenomenon. Here you go. Perfect. This will quench the roots. There's nicely, but... I bet it is not all on my task of you. The petals and stems are covered with violkin eggs. Should they hatch, the larva will destroy every last leaf, petal, and stem. Please, you must remove the eggs that you find. Okay. I'm assuming it's gonna cause them to hatch. Oh. What's a violkin? Aren't those like the little goblin things? Or am I thinking, wow, the little imps. Aren't those called violkin? Here you go, buddy. I'm a good help. Well done yet again, my friend. I dare say we have stayed another disaster. But our job is not yet finished. Servid clouds still lurk among the Gundergruth. If left unchecked, they will undoubtedly infest the plants with their eggs once more. Here, the stink brew is sure to bring the beasts out of hiding. Pour it over any thick bramble you see and slay whatever comes forth. Yes, sir. Which one was it? Stink brew. Yeah, that jump back move is dope. Good job, buddy. Oh, crap. I need to drink my orange juice. Gulp. Gulp. Might as well use this, too. There you go. Can I do both of them at once? That'd be dope. Nope. That move's fun. That jumpy, dashy, backy move. We'll finish off right next to him. Nice. What more can I say to express my gratitude? Through your efforts, this exceptional bit of greenery will enjoy many more vibrant days. As a botanist from Gardania, I've had the opportunity to study plants the realm over, yet I cannot claim to have seen such venture before. I'm convinced that we see before us product from the Gobu's death. There's certainly beauty to it, no? A remarkable discovery. I cannot wait to finish up research and take word back to Goldmail Sir Ufuka. That's the uh, botanist person, if I remember right. Because I remember that name throwing me off. Let's go this way. Turn those in, then we can go pick up those dead bodies thing. Gotta pay attention to my level here. Oh, I did level up. Um, because... <laughs> The main quest line is, I think, left off on 24. So I don't want to out-level that again. For the third time. Hey, friend. Oh, well, finally, have you found my pretty posies? Sure. Oh, gorgeous. Well done, well done. I know not what's in that rotting gobu caucus, but it makes for the loveliest damn flowers I've ever laid eyes on. When it comes to offerings, you see the rear of the flower, the happier the dead. And all the lavender is nothing of, if not rare. I'll be saving these to turn a pretty profit when the next period will set out the light yard. Sweet. I'm glad you enjoy them. Oh, I need to. Okay. No new gear. Still in queue. Holy crap. It's to be expected, though. DPS Diamond Dozen. Can I go in here? Aha. Uh -huh. You have troubled yourself to come all this way. I wonder if I might not trouble you a bit further. As you well know, we keep a like yard here. The scent of death's decay draws blowfly swarms, which are unclean as they are unwelcome. Sleep five of these pestilent swarms and the choice will be in your debt. Sure. I can do that. What about you? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Be welcome to the Church of St. Adama Lam Landama. I am Sister Ariel. I gather you are no pilgrim you are no pilgrimage. You look to be an adventurer. If so might I impose upon you the tender like yard. Are you here with us? Hell yeah, because I'm on a quest for it already. The graves here are far in number. 
we who keep them. Alone, we cannot possibly do all the deed that needs done. What do you see gathering at the old offerings currently lying about outside? I make note of this. At least six during my lands. My last rounds through the yard. Sure. Be happy to help. Slow flies. You are not welcome here. I like the little carbuncle things. They're kind of cute. Sick him. Good job, buddy. He's a good chocobo. Oh, almost didn't get that off because I accidentally just clicked. Did he stun him for me? Hell yeah, dude. Also, did it say I achieved level 5? That means you should level up. Nope. Not quite. Oh, I need some effervescent water, apparently. For my... Mining class, I think? Oh, bear. That scared me for a hot second. Did I get them all? Oh shit, I can't turn them in because I'm not 18. Fuck. Shit. Well, what can I do? There's 19 up there. These guys dropped something, right? That I could use? I remember farming these guys for some reason, but I don't remember why. Oh, you angry. Can't catch me. Can't catch me. Old goat. That's right. The leather. And gimme. Oh man, it's so much easier to target you when you're slow. I'm getting no experience doing this. Come on, some fates or instants. I need you to trigger. Help. Oh, I think he's actually killing these guys. Sorry, I feel bad. He's summoning my friend. Come on, Fates. Where you at? <laughs> it's the smallest little bit of experience. Ooh, special skin. Hi, friend. Oh, Fate. Oh, okay. <laughs> exact same time, huh? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Is this going to be an escort? Hi hey, friends! Ooh! That person has a gun? I have some insane stuff because are we gonna die? Yeah, I'm gonna stand right next to you so <laughs> anything that comes after me gets smacked by your stuff. Throwing dots up on everyone. I leveled Huzzah! Now I can turn in those quests. Maybe he's immune to that because I kept selecting that. I can't target him. There it goes. Oh, new thing! Quick knock! Delivers and attack the potency to all enemies in cone. Sick. There you go. Bop. Oh, you can just keep spamming it? Okay. Did not uh, anticipate to be able to spamage of that. It's kind of cool. This 
guy just standing here all fancy shooting a gun. Actually, I might move. Let's dodge. Move here. Oh, those are so much better than mine. I can't need them. Fucking go. Holy crap. Okay, this is fun. Bang. All right, that was fun. And I leveled again. Hell yeah. First time we've had a, a burn through like this instance. game any good? I don't know, man. I'm, I can't. You know what? I think it's actually quite a bummer. How you doing, dude? Welcome to the stream. I already have these? How? How can I have those when it says what I have is worse? You think I'd be wearing them? I used the wrong one. It's fine. Don't work tomorrow so you can make it to a stream. Hell yeah, dude. It's good to see you, by the way. How you been? You enjoying your job? Doing the job? Good. Also, I have no idea if I'm playing this 
class right. It feels like I'm doing damage, but no, I don't really know. Level three times in here, holy shit. I got a new, another new skill. Increases the movement speed of self and party members. Oh, sick. Okay. Effect ends when enmity's generator has no effect in battle. Sick. I can make us run faster. damage meters in this game? I want to know if I'm actually doing anything. Look, we slightly faster. Now we're at the boss. <laughs> Kill the imp, dummy. There you go. Oh, someone else leveled that time, I think. I thought I left I leveled again. up again. I didn't mean to abandon the loot. There was a bow in there. God damn it. How did I accidentally abandon the loot? Damn it. Fine. Leave me alone. All right, let's go turn in ah. these couple quests real quick. New stuff. Actually, you know what I should do? Adventure in need of healer. Does that give me bonus if I go heal? 924. It does. It gives a shit ton more. Almost double. I'm stuck. Boom, 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 boom. So you work like afternoon tonight, right, Josh? Something like that? 
Matrix! How's it going, friend? Welcome to the stream! All right, morning to afternoon. Ugh, 5.30 in the morning, that sucks. Makes me vomit in my mouth a little bit. You can actually watch? Nice, dude! It's good to see you, how you been? Thank you, would you... But that there be not else to be done? I must see to collecting weathered vases, irons, and yours before long. That then sleep soundest in a tidy grave. I have no shortage of, shortage of work to offer, should you take care to take it? Speak to me again whenever you so feel compelled. Okay. Thank you, friend! If the swarms were to spread their pestilence of the church unchecked, before long we would need to mourn the morning. For the time being, at least, the grieving can pray in peace for their dead to cross over safely. God bless you. Ooh, Snow White die. Nice! Quests all up in here. Ooh. Salmon pink dye. Gross. You've been uh, binging SCP stuff? Oof. Some of those are creepy. Have you read the toaster one? That one's good. There was a gunfight in the neighborhood? Oh my god, that's... Woo! That's super stressful. Please be safe. Yeah, well, the vengeance revokes, ain't you? I'd be much obliged for your little help. I'd like to make a tombstone for my kid sister who passed away. You see, but I ain't got the gills to get it done. I hear there's a nice rock for the taking away from here, but I ain't old enough to fend off no wild beasts or such. I was hoping for a bit old clown marble. She really would have liked that. Crops right up under the ground of the east of here, they say. If you could find a bit and see your brother Esmore here and say, my sister would be ever so grateful. Sure. So you wish to honor the dead once more? Excellent. Make offerings of these Nymea lilies at some of the simpler graves in the like yard. The poor souls have died alone, you see, and no one left to grieve for them. That's actually really sad. There are five such graves. Oh, wrong voice. There are five such graves scattered about the like yard that would have you tend to. Remember, friend, mind your surroundings and pay the prosper respect. With each bundle of lilies, you're all they have. That's sad. Bundle of lilies. Here you go. Isn't the trust where you can only refer? Yes, you refer to it in uh, the first person. I like that one. That one's a good one. You're rather fond of the rock that makes you procrastinate. I don't think I recall that one. Is that the pet rock? Have you ever played the SCP video game? They keep adding uh, updates to that one. Apparently, the blinking meter. It's a rock that makes you procrastinate. Probably medic or something. I'll finish writing this up later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, some of the writing is so great for those. There's some creepy ones, though. That's for sure. Oh, snap. There we go. I can't think of any more funny ones off the top of my head. Just the toaster one sticks out. <gasps> oh, really? That's unfortunate. Have you been to Snare again, friend? Sure, here's a stone. Cloud marbles to make a tombstone for Edward's sister. <sighs> this, that boy is nothing, if not trouble. It was all I could do to convince him not to go looking for stone on his own. Still, I suppose it cannot be helped, and losing a loved one is never easy. Thank you for this part. Thank you for part in it. Thank you for your part in this. I will see the marbles used as Edward's wishes. Nice. Once more, you have my thanks. No doubt the souls of the departed can take some small comfort in the care you have shown in their graves. In days gone by, the like here was a small, humble plot. But that all changed after the calamity. Calamity Ganon's here. The dead grew, the dead grew in number, and so... The yard grew with them. It is simple despite its size, of course. It's the same self-same simplicity that seems it from becoming more of priority for the order. We can we can ill afford to assign inadequate numbers to keep it to its keeping, just as we cannot charge the poor to bury or be buried. Yet that does not stop the many who come calling to see their dead put to rest here. Those few of us who tend to the yard haven't had the time to see the offerings our piety demand demands. The simple graves you visited before belong to those who died alone. Let us pray the sweet fragrance you delivered grants some modicum of relief from their lo lonely solitude, if even for a short while. 
was that noise? That was creepy. The way he spells his name makes me think of Edward from Phil Metal Alchemist. That looks like he would spell it. Gods, you bitches are serious kind folk. Now all I need is a coin for the funeral. I'm gonna stay on here and search for a bit and help out. Wouldn't be right to leave everything up to someone else. That'll mean more to my sis if I can do it what I can on my own. Brother Esmer and sister Irel are good folk too. They just say I don't need to kill to bury my sister here, but I know how it works. That'll take corn to send her over to Sal proper. Uh, sure. Nice. I'm level 22? Holy shit! I gained six levels in the not even hour I've been playing. Ah, uh, motorcycle. Keep dots, yep. Blood letter when. Why blood letter when less than three targets? Spam your one skill, yep. Wait for number three spot, yep. Maintain dots, yep. Oh, when greater than, than you spam. Quick. Wow, okay. I was playing that just like that. Got he. Whoa. Is that cloth coming off of that thing, or are those a bunch of tails? I think it's cloth. That thing's cool. Wait, I have one of those. How come mine doesn't have cloth? Was that that guy's gear? Alright, once I turn this in, we might have to start going working on the main quest again. Hello, friends. Where is that damn Tuko Tuko meat? I asked Caitlin to bring. It won't be long before my patrons arrive. Here you go. I got you. Caitlin has sent you. Excellent. This is more than enough Tuko Tuko meat. Some miners have come to stay at, Baza at the bazaar. Well, they prospect the area for mithril deposits. They value quantity over quality. So I'll be serving them a feast of this piss poor meat. By the by, please don't tell me Caitlin is. Standing at the same spot in Drybone, sending adventures out to slay mongrels. I told her no number of mongrels pelts on our heads will bring my brother will bring my brother back to us. I've moved on to my life. It's past time she did the same. This whole area is about dead people and it's very sad. How in the hills have you been wondering about without aunt to do? There's opportunity here at the Goon Bazaar. As if there as there hasn't been in years. I speak of the massive mythical deposit, of course. The miners say fed before only before our only the beginning, more and more will come flock here in the mean coming week. Mark my words. Until now, we've been nothing more than a small settlement. But now the sky's the limit. And in for the mythical miners to come to would be worth a fortune. Mark my words. And I mean for that fortune to be mine. The problem in my head is that I need bodies to help me build the inn. But I can't seem to find any who are willing. Maybe you should pay them. I've drawn up these hiring notices, hoping that they might help. Would you mind helping to get me started by posting five of them up in the prime locations? Sure. There's a fate. I got the miners here. Miners were hard and rugged souls. I had no idea they could be so craven. You look like someone who can handle herself. Here to kill some pests for all the and lady. I'm supposed to be leading a dig among the ruins east of here for Mithril deposit, but once the miners I hired saw the vandal sims in the area, they all turned tail and fled. Slay some of the bloody buggers for me, will ya? Or did him should keep the others away and put the miners' minds at ease? Sure. You're learning about Cuttlefish of Ultimate Wisdom. It's an SCP Cuttlefish that predicts the future and provides the worst possible viable solutions. Oof. I love Cuttlefish. Cuttlefish are awesome. What's up, Rooster? Lasting Fat Tunes with Squiggle Munch the Chocobo. That's a great name. I hope you named your Chocobo Squiggle Munch. Now, mine is uh, Quetzalcoatl. Jump. There you go. You're not off, right, Rooster? Your your Friday is on Thursday, generally, right? Come on. There it goes. Oh, that's awful, Citric. Oh, that was that would really suck to be that guy just having stuff thrown at his face. Okay, I asked you like three questions. So which was the yep to, Rooster? You posted all five. Yeah, twelve then. But I truly do want to let the chance pass by. Here, take five more hiring notices and see them straight to the hands of whatever folk you see loitering about. Alright. Uh, you. Bored burger? Ugh, I'm bored out of my gourd. Is there no work to be had in this godforsaken place? Here you go. I got some job for you. 
Benegar's looking for able bodies, is he? I've done some word working in my day. Might as well be as if he has some use of me. Choose your words carefully. You have work? Should you? Carpenters, thank the gods I was afraid to be done by mining jobs here. It's my vocation to be sure, but a man see needs some variety now and then. I'll go have myself a word with the Benegar fellow. Enjoy. Hopefully he pays you all well. Loose-tongued madame. These are all, like, innuendos, what they were saying. Now her name. What's this now? Ugh, letters never learned them. Can you just read it to me? Well, here it is anyways. Benegar is building a new inn. No doubt to accommodate all the new people coming into the bazaar in the recent days. Taking advantage of new foot traffic is a right fine idea. Hmm. Oh, I have no intention of helping Benegar, of course, but perhaps there's even greater profit ahead to be had in stocking up the food stores. Okay. Sunbaked, madame. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy? Well, here's a paper. Benegar needs work done, does he? See more miners in the bazaar of late? I reckon that's got something to do with it. Rumor has it that there's mithril on the ground down here. Wonder if there's any truth to it. Don't know. But paper for you. No, I don't have time a moment to talk about that. Wait, what's this? Paper for you. Hiring hands to build a new inn. Hmm. Well, that's bloody interesting. I don't know, I accidentally clicked. I came here after hearing there might be mithril in these parts, but the inn's all full and I've been living off out of a tent. Suppose I could lend a hand building inns till I start digging mines. I did it. God dang it, Rooster. Yes, I beat the Jedi game. His pants turned into an SCP? That's creepy. Are you going to do some casino for the car mount? There's an event for it going on for a month. The car mount from 15? Probably not. Well done, Faith. Or, well done, Faith. Thanks, you have a feeling I have the hands I need to see my end bill. I was in a dark place after my brother died, but now I'm going to breathe life back into this bazaar. More work? All right. There's work to be done, Faith. Oh, keep changing his voice. You haven't let me down so far. Don't start out. A miner recently came from Amajina, and Sons wants a sample of stone from the eastern ruins. I have a mind to give him five slabs of cloud marble from the invisible city, and I need you to get them. Showing this to him would not come to here and continue the influx of miners to the bazaar. You got it. You're doing things. I'm gonna go this way, though. Maybe. Yeah, I don't really care about that car mount. I think it looks weird. I like my motorcycle. What's up, boys? Stop blizzarding on me. Oh, are you... Um, is there, like, bonus money or something going on right now? That's a big boy. He's level 50. Please don't murder me. Oh, did you... Did you guys see what happened to me the other day when I was playing this? Uh, there's a clip where uh, I got out of an event. I, I got out of uh, like a uh, quest event and it spawned me on top of level 50 and just killed me instantly. And then teleported me all the way back to where I needed not to be. It sucked. Look at him shaking his rump. Little rump shaker. Oh no. The last one is over there. He's gonna murder me though. That sucks. Alright, can I. You don't want to murder me. Shit. Panic. Okay, it's just a crappy guy. Stay with me. The bonus up is two minutes ago, and then I farmed a bunch for the dope flying chair. Oh, that's right. I didn't know the, the flying chair was the, uh, was money. <laughs> the flying chair cracks me up. Go away, buddy. I need, I need to loot this. Please don't attack me. Grab it. Time to go. Oof. Ah! Oh. Oh, it's my... That's a cuddle scared the shit out of me. 
You keep shooting at me, you jerk. Ooh, that was scary. Nice. Go turn these in. Well, at least... Oh, nope. I'm actually finally going to run out of my double experience. That stuff lasted forever. Hi. New adventures never cease to prove your worth. Now I get can get those cowardly miners back to doing the only thing they're good for, digging. Mithril veins are still no more than rumors. But if every miner flees at the slightest sign of danger, we'll never know for sure. I may need to hire you on a regular basis to call those bloody imps. <sighs> I've never... It will be quite a while yet before any proper mining can be done. Have we gotten all the cloud marble samples that I need, Faith? Sure. Here you go. So this is the cloud marble I've heard so much about. Gods, look at the glimmer in the stone. I must admit I've never seen it for myself. I had only heard of it to tell of it. I see now why the mess of rumors have arisen. Now, you listen to me, you bloody rock. The Golden Bazaar is counting on you. If this talk of Mithril turns out to be a farce, I swear by the twelve, I'll dig up every last pebble of you myself, ground you to powder, and sell you to the chocobo stables as sop a piss and sh runny shite. Gross. <clears throat> yes, Will, sorry about that. It's just that ever since the war saw the road to Alamigo cut off, the bazaar has fallen on tough times. There's a waypoint choked off from its way, and it's now a little more than a point. But I will not let it be so. I've come to make the Golden Bazaar golden once more. From there, I'll become one of the richest men in Salonon. Then I'll finally be able to give Caitlyn the life those mongrels stole from her. She's held on the memory of my brother for so long, she'd become blind to the people who care for her. People like, well, uh, I don't suppose you could keep that last bit from Caitlyn, would you? Are you creeping on your brother's widow? That's weird, bro. It seems the twelve were intent on plaguing me all my days, before with the imps and now with their sprites. I ordered a haul of digging, digging tools from a merchant to the north. He was headed down for the Black Shroud when the Earth Sprites took over him. Overtook him. Luckily, he was able to escape to Camp Drybone with his life. I needed to make the road safe, friend. Put down three of these Earth Sprites to keep the others at bay and ease the minds of any traveling merchants. Once the deed is done, just find the merchant, Remember Maki and Camp Drybone, and tell him to bring his haul to the rest of the way here. Sure. Fat cat. Have a good one, Rooster. Enjoy your night at work. I think those play together. They have the same last name. It's cute. Oh. Oh, right. The car flies. I forget about that. Maybe I will go get the car. Because it looks cool when it's flying. Big ass chocobo. If I got off got the sprites, God bless you for that, Stadra. Oh, we'll have our tools. If I don't. Oh, I said that. I've led here out of fear for my life, but I've come to regret that. Have you taken a good look about? There are bodies littering the ground. Dead bodies. I have no desire to stay here any longer than I must. Once I see it, do my birds fit for trouble I'll be making for Golden Bazaar? There's dead bodies everywhere? Where? Levoy Lankins. <laughs> That's great. That's still there, huh? Oh! I leveled up so I can, um... I can do my next archer quest. That's what that's saying. Sure. Let's go see what this is about. I think I've done this before, but... Ah, oh, you don't have a And you only have fire in rise unless the fire is just what we need. Spurred by the rumors of the new Amajal commander, I arrived outside the beast. Sorry, I'm gonna make the final thing now. The commander is right, but the, the four lizards were preparing to march on Ulda. A request for more reinforcements has been sent via link shell, but it will be several bells before they arrive, and by then it will be too late. No, we must stop the enemy before they advance, and since we are totally unnumbered, I believe the only way of the victory is to lower the morale by targeting both their spells and their supplies and their leaders. Chunky boy. Where the fuck are you going, bro? Just walking right in there? And get yourself murdered.
Come on, target one. Oh, that's the that's the boss boy. Look at me, Titan. I'm doing the thing. Did it. Uh, no one leave me alone. You're wasting my power. Oh, there's another fate. Might as well queue. Hello. Charlian. Do not look down, Claudian. You must not. You must not. You cannot look. Ah! Oh, that was my good woman. You frightened me half to death. But you must forgive me. I've been a bit restless as of late, but what with those winged nightmares swooping in from every which direction, pecking and poking and pricking at me? Might as well pack up my instruments and go home, as I won't be getting an alms of reason done. If, however, a kindly adventurer like yourself would use the scarecrows to drive the birds away, it would be another story. What do you say? Sure, why not? Go, go, shoe. We've been dispatched by the order of no, not a thought to conduct a thorough investigation of these ruins. We have only begun to scratch the surface yet. It is clearly clear that they house countless untold secrets from the age of Melodia. Secrets which remain hidden forever as something is not done about those accursed buzzards. Ever since they began nesting across the chasm, we have spent more hours wiping their droppings off our tomes than doing any sort of research. I ask you not to eradicate the entire species. The buzzard is a clever bird. Slave for so I suspect the rest of the flock will find somewhere else to roost. I think this is where I did a quest with the sword man, right? Puff of darkness. Oh, that's his pet. Chonky cat. I have a chonky cat. Chonk, chonk, chonk. Can I fall down there without dying? Nope. I don't remember how to get down there. There it is. Where's the other one? Wait, did this one not go off? Maybe I took off running before it was done. Cool, came back out. Look at the little jumpy sheepies. A purple? Oh, I need to kill them. Alright, I'm gonna set him on attacker. Can't hit me. Can't hit me. Do it. Do your move. Nope. Invulnerable? Oh, come on, dude. That's annoying. Oh my god, these guys are fucking up my chocobo. He can't take much damage, can he? Oh shit, neither can I. I'm giving shit to my chocobo. And I'm dying. I was hoping for the music to kick in sooner than that. These things are adorable. I don't want to kill them. Hey, level 23, boys. He healed himself. I was about to go attack someone else. Okay. Well, I did a quest I didn't even know I was on. Cool. Um, so if I'm 23, I can't turn those in yet. But I may be able to do... Actually, you know what? Let's go do this. 
Let's go do my class quest. At least that'll get us closer to 24. And then we can continue on with the main quest. Yeah? Yeah. Good thinking juice. And the brain meets. Hello. You've come good at a good time, Faith. I have a task for you. A petition has arrived from the proprietor of Buscarun's Druthers out in the South Tra. The petitioner, Buscarun himself. Oh, Buscarun. Have I met him? I'm pretty sure. Has requested our assistance in dealing with a gang of vultures. I would have three of you meet with him and investigate the claims. The three of us? You mean Faith, myself, and. Douchebag McGee. It would be. It would be better if I went alone, Lucian. Mikota and the other one will only encumber me. No, Silvar. You will go as three. Also, it is past time you recognize Faith as a fellow archer. I look awesome! I will not. Er, <laughs> I will not. I have held my tongue on the mass matter of the continued presence here, but I will bend it no further. I'm gonna have to save his life. Then he's gonna be like, Oh, no, <laughs> Isn't he? What in the seven hills do you think you are? Bo Lord Luini? In case you've forgotten, you aren't even a quiverman anymore. Oh, snap. I don't even know what that means, but snap. That may be, but I've shed blood defending a border, so I'm like, you savage. Wow, you're a piece of shit. Savage? You know nothing about me, you baited son of a... Kick him out. Enough. But one more word and you shall have cause to regret your pet petulance. The three of you will go to Buscar and Struthers in the South Shroud. Now out of my sight. Can I shoot him? Just... Oh no, he died falling off a cliff. Why is he riddled with arrows? I don't know, man. Strange. I spent so much money teleporting. I'm out of, I'm out of brain juice. Pop tart. <laughs> and she's a bunny. That's even funnier. Ow. Rude. Oh, level 16. Oh, that's right. Scaring is uh, the bard dude here. Samuel Torres, this person is a straw hat. Hi, friends. Crap, he just shotgun blasted him in the face. No, my thing popped. Damn it. I'm dancing. Here, stone hauler. I haven't read any of these names before because I've been mostly tanking. Bouncy bunny boy.
Damn it, it always procs on the last guy. Blast away! Boom! Oh, he just insta died. Okay. These guys just explode. Synchronized dying. Damn it, the last one again. There we go. At least I got an attack off. Oh, big damage. Big damage. We did it! That wasn't better than mine. I'm sorry. It looked like it was. Love the FC with the FC. Oh, someone's talking something. I don't know.
Someone's saying something in the chat and I don't understand it. the use of oh fuck yeah i was wondering if i was gonna get an interrupt sluggy <laughs> slimy boy Died? What the fuck? Why'd you let him die? Or maybe they stood in the blast? Get out of the blast! Get out of the blast! Shit, that's the first time I've seen that not split properly. Come on, you gotta push the button. Guys, push the dang button. Come on, explode. There you go. There we go. Poof. That was stressful. I have everything all the time. I actually put on something new, right? Didn't replace my Nighthawk visor with a Nighthawk visor. These guys have wings. I've never noticed that. Oh, there's a big guy.
Holy crap. Yeesh. That was worrisome. Wow. Of course it's dropping all sorts of tank stuff when I'm not a tank. I want something. I want two things. Litter? I don't remember it being there. Alright. Everyone actually knows to keep attacking the big guy. to move the, the light. No wonder it looks dark over there. Boom, laser beam. We did it! Do I roll a need on that? Good. I rolled greed because I don't know if you're supposed to roll neat on those or not. Cool, I'm 24. Hey, old friend. Would you fancy a flag in a meal, perhaps? Ah, oh, an adventurer. I could scarce believe my fortune. I was just looking for someone who might assist me in checking on the wheel for a couple of regulars. To be precise, I'm looking for an expedition team poking around in the ruins of the Isomar. Who's south of here? They usually turn up in the Druthers every few days, covered in dust and hungering for a hot meal, but they've not been in nine for a week. Could well be that they're simply <laughs> occupied with scholarly, scholarly business. I can't even pronounce that word. But they've been running, running low with supplies by now, and that concerns me. Please pay them a visit at the ruins and see if Optimus is looking for one by the name of Aurelian. Ariel. By the way, ah, I forgot the other one's name. Um, where is this quest, though? There it is. Oh, you want me to talk to. Buscaron. Yep. Cutscene. A lot of cutscenes with this dude. Ah, oh, you must be from the Archer's Guild. Welcome, friends. Now, as your guildmaster will have said, I put in a request for some key knight archers to help me track down a gang of poachers that they've been plaguing these parts. If I may, it's not uncommon to find poachers in this region. While I've regret the needs of the gods, Griffin nor the woodwillers deem them worthy of attention, why then did you manage them worthy of ours? There's no, ain't no common poachers. They're Paul Majuk's gang. They say that she and her are always moving, staying one step ahead, but I reckon she's hiding out there somewhere. Thing is, I just can't send my people out searching. I made a pact with the Red Billy Bandits, see? They stay out of their territory and they don't make no trouble at the Druthers. That being so, if I summon the mass ranks of the Whalers and the Quivermen, all seven hells would swiftly break loose, assuming they thought the matter worthy of their attention, of course. Needless to say, there's not an option. As luck would have it, though, I've got three keen-eyed archers to take 
care of things instead, and all without raising no alarms. We understand. You may leave the matter to us. They, they split up and scour the area for any signs of poachers. Should you discover, or should you discover anything, return here and wait. We will reconvene and compare our findings there long. Oh. Sure. Oh, dude. Two quests, one dude. Let's go. And they're both for my either my class or my main quest. That's dope. Say there. There's something I'd like to ask you to see delivered to the sylphs of the Little Solace. This is Aima Rose, Rose Oil. It's a gift to celebrate the safe return of the tribe's elder and a token of Gridania's desire to unite. The wood is not what it once was. The calamity changed the elements, weakened them until their strength is returned. We must lend them ours to keep the wood safe. But ours alone will not be enough. We must have the strength of the sylphs as well. Only by working together and fighting together will we survive together, and the twelves will be with us. The gift I ask you to bear is a symbol of the hope that both Gridani and Sylph alike will live to see the light beyond the d this darkness. Sure. What do you got? Affiliate. Shadows of the Empire? Dope. In a world of garlands in the woods, got old Busker and beside himself with weary, so he came up with a bit of an idea. I did. Might be here, there's a place near to here where the poachers all in manner will scum together. There's no fins of Ogadania to be sure, but there's even less love for Garlemald. Garlemald. So I've got to think it, why not ask him to keep an eye on any garlands in the wood? Enemy of my enemy and all that. Affiliate. His name is interesting. Damn it. Maximum quests. I'm dropping these stupid quests. You're back last, and Zelda tells me you got not come from a flagon of Buskerin's ale. All the better that. I just overheard some Garlean stragglers. Straggler? Yeah, stragglers I've seen in the Twelveswood. And you know, they're not like to be up to any good. Me? Well, nothing like nothing better than to get those Imperial whoresomes myself. But I fear I've got other duties to attend to the same. We got on you, lass. All right. Okay. Let's um go that way. Actually, wait. Oh, it's all the way over there. Come on, dude. That's mean. Bad cat. Look, level fifty. Why are the level fifties everywhere? It's fine. Ugh. Uncomfy. Another fat cat. Let's go. All right, where's the next one? Oh, there's a bunch of shit right over there. Oh, oh, someone teleported. I thought I spawned someone behind me. Can you guys leave me alone? Nope. This guy wants to box. Oh, just get out of range. Fuck. I think I'm out of juice. Yep. Eat him. There you go. I've got enough time for that. Uh, what's going on here? How do I deal with this? Are these not shiny? I don't know what's going on with that. Well, it's something, but I just don't know what. Bubble, 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 bubble. Look for shinies. Climb, chonky boy. Come on. Okay. Panic. My brain forgot that I wasn't next to the level 50. It just kind of was like, oh shit! Oh, not you. Wait a minute. You don't want me to turn it in? Oh, there's a destination here. Weird. An iron leg trap in this poacher's arrow. These are both evidence of illegal activity. But nothing. We can't help find it. Power. Help us, power. And these mead bottles are but old refuse. From before the Truthers was even built, they have no connection to the gang. What do you know of this power woman, Sylvia? I know that she is the most infamous poacher ever to walk the Twelve's Wood. A born leader, deadly with a bow, she formed her own gang of Mikote hunters. That's why you have a problem with me. She was apprentice once and would have been brought to justice had she not tricked a foolish young sentry into releasing her before vanishing without trace. It's you. Is that so? In that case, we've scorned the area and found something, nothing. How do we know that this power was even there? I said we informed the gods quiver and the woodwhalers, taking care not to implicate Buscarin, and leave the rest of them. 
This does not, doesn't concern the Archer's Guild. It concerns Gridania, Leon. Awa Majub is a savage and utterly immoral culture whose actions are indirectly threaten the city's well-being. But what what a vagrant like you know of duty to one's homeland? No more than she, I suspect. I, there's a campfire right there. Can I just toss him in it? How dare you? Can you hey, say something? Now's not time for this. You're a piece of shit. Let me murder you. 1v1 me, bitch. Mm, very well. We will return to the matter at hand. Perhaps you should take a second look at the clues we have gathered. Look all you want. Though the trap of the arrow we found is such as poaching, there's nothing remotely unusual about them. What do you think we should examine, Faith? The empty mead bottles. <laughs> the poacher's arrow. We know this is a poacher's arrow. Beyond that, it tells us nothing. The bottles. Why are you still killing in that rubbish? I told you, those bottles predate the truthers. They have no, no connection with this matter. But if these bottles are so old, why do they retain the scent of me? They must surely have been opened recently. Wait, before the calamity, Buscarin once served as a sentry. Yet even then, he sometimes spoke of owning his own tavern, and it was an open secret that he was brewing his own private stock. If some survived... Of course! Buscarin's scar, his old lookout post. It may have been power on Mujuf, but we must investigate at once. Okay. That way. God damn it. I'm going to be 25 when I'm done with this. I'm just going to do another one. Conspiracy theory. Hmm. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Hey, I was here earlier. That area just got way bigger. Pretty signs. Look, the ground is covered in Mikote food trends. These tracks are fresh, very fresh. I'd wager the bandits were alerted to her coming and fled. Now they're hiding near. Oh shit, Dodge, she got leopard print. Take cover! Damn it, why'd you have to miss? Eh? And there was thinking that we'd call ourselves a, some of the metal and bloody trip masqueraders. Someone's framing you? Oh, she's cool. Not that I'm complaining. Hiding your face downright bloody rude when you ain't been introduced. Speaking of ill manners, don't you know it ain't decent to barge your way into a lady's bedchamber without knocking? Can we be friends after we murder him? You would lecture upon us upon manners? Truly, I've heard it all. They have us are done, but we best split up. The leader's mine. I'll try to isolate her from her litter. Silver your face. The rest I leave up to you two. You're a badass. As you wish. I got these three, don't worry. Eat my poison. Can't hit, but you can't see, motherfucker. How come you're still shooting someone else? I got him. Wait, I see healer. That is not okay. Nope, not allowed. Nope, not letting you do that. All right. Don't worry, I will poison everyone because this guy's worthless. Got him. Got him. You lose die first. Suck that. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. That sucks. Hopefully I don't need that because I'm using it. How are you still alive? Did we do it? Did we win? Was that the last of them? Have you seen... Alepo? Alepo. With me, Faith! Oh! Headshot! Nope. Bow shot. That was a po piss poor show, sister. And you call yourself a keeper. A hunter with no fangs ain't nothing but prey. No! Yeah, I can do it too. Oh, it's gonna be what's a stupid face. Yep. Ah, oh, bugger. Looks like playtime's over. Be seeing you, sister. Bye. I'm gonna be level 25 now. Oh, no, I'm not.
I thought that was a, hit the edge of the bar. Nope. You guys gonna? No, you just gonna hang out here. All right. You guys do your thing. I'm going this way. Holy crap! I have like half my inventory full already. Hey, go, dude. Seven holes. They were at my old post and they drank my old mead. That stings most of all. Well, it's past time. The proper authorities were informed. I'll send the messages of Woodwailers in God's quiver. The Red Billy Bandits won't like it, but... <laughs> like it one bit, but I'll see they're told exactly who the military is after. I only hope it'll be enough. Coast Pawam Majuk's no fool. Now she knows she's been spotted, she'll break camp and be long gone before the time the next bell sounds. And the trail won't stay fresh long, either. Anyway, you've done a great kindness, friends. Tell Hussein I appreciate the help. Are we done? Cool. Cool. They're both in the same spot. Oh, that feels so good. All right, let's do the main quest first because it might level me up to the point where it, uh, I can just pick up the new archer quest when I hit 25. <laughs> that fade didn't even show up on my map. It's probably because it's not refreshed. Hi, friends. Person looking, looking like Santa Claus. Look at you, the walking musk run. A gift for these ones. Here you go. Such a lovely scent. This one has never smelled anything like this before. Walking one musk run and eventually one a very kind. Now, know that this is one one is deeply grateful. Many walking ones are scary. Many walk ones are many lies and many deception. But this one is moved. Let all these ones be friends forever. Ooh, pants. What pants am I wearing? Or shoes am I wearing? I guess that one's slightly better. <gasps> Excuse me. Better say it's better. It is. Oh, that's not the main quest. This one wishes to take the adventure one. Adventure one saved the elder one. But this one must have a favor first. Will adventure one and bring three bottles of fresh blood? He's morbid favor, this one knows, but must have fresh blood from vile ones known as Chicago's. Adventuring one takes blood bottles, use on almost dead wild ones to take fresh blood. Creepy. Believe in yourself. <laughs> ah, you. Walking ones may think this one's home is small, but this one has the biggest home of all. The forest itself is one's home. What does walking one think of that? That's not who I meant to talk to. Move. Damn it. All right, what are we dropping? Uh, we're dropping hair club for here. <laughs> Camp tranquil. I'm gonna drop. I can't drop that. Do I have any with those other? Yes. Screw these. Get out of here. Speak with in the wolves den. All right, I need to figure that out too. This one has been expecting walking one. This one punches the other one. Hi, friend. I remember you. I saved you from a, a dungeon. This one is pleased to see walking one again. Welcome to the home of these woods. Oh god, it's these two. Ah, oh, there you are, Faith. We have been hearing tell, you, hearing tell of your deeds of daring do. Well done. Ah, oh, the wacky ones we did. The Roxy one. This one is grateful. Damn it. A pleasure to have been of service. If you do not mind me asking, how did your misadventure come about? This one does not mind. The misadventures as a walking one caused them. Of this one began with imperial ones entered the woods. Fearing trouble, this one has decided to watch imperial ones closely. There's ones watched too closely and imperial ones noticed and tried to catch these ones. Having nowhere else to hide, this one fled to Totem Rock. Would this that has would that this had not one had not in Totem Rock and the sinister one robbed in black tried to feed this one to a many legged one. The spider. The sinister one robbed in robbed in black. I have a feeling I should be more worried about that than I am. Probably the same dude we keep seeing. Hello there, Brixio. We've come to We've come to you on emissaries of the nation of Gridania. This missive reading bears the word of Elder Seedseer. Here you go. 
this one the seas. So walking winds of Gridania, feel for love, Lord Ramu. Plainly put, yes. Your people summon Lord of Levin, but once, yet that single occurrence occasioned great alarm. But it's not as little Gridanians like you or anything. Actually, it's just the opposite. They think of you as friends, and they don't want to, anything to get in the way of that. That's why the Elder Seeds here wrote to you. Hmm. Well, this one... Well, this one will news and respects horned one. Kanisana, but assured. Be assured, like walking ones of Gridania, these ones have no desire for conflict. These ones resorted to summoning Lord Ramu to protect the wood from Imperial ones. This one counseled against doing so, but was not heeded. Against this one's wishes, Lord Ramu was summoned, and all the ones who took part became touched ones. These ones want so desperately to turn, touched ones back to normal ones, but did not know how. And still knew not. He's so cool. Touched ones, meanwhile, wanted to turn these ones into touched ones and did know how. So this one pled to little solace with all the little ones, those ones who did not wish to be bound to Lord Ramu. But walking ones of Gridania need not fear touched ones or Lord Ramu. Unlike other primal ones, Lord Ramu is not, call is not callous and cruel. So long as walking ones do not trespass on these ones' ancestral homeland where touch bonds reside, walking ones will not suffer thunderous judgment. But this one has spoken enough of touch ones. This one would speak instead of these ones. And this one said, these ones desire peace with walking ones of Redania. And so these ones ask for a chance to set things right. By way of the addendum, mortals were attempted. Shepherd come to take on the qualities embodied by the primal in question. In the case of the sylphs, Ramu's influence has made them fiercely protective of their homeland. That explains why they're so hostile towards trespassers, but what about abductions? A fine question, Ida. The abductions are, I believe, an expression of the tempered sylphs' desire for reconciliation, another quality traditionally associated with Ramu. In the crudest matter, ma manner imaginable, they seek to bring their fellows back into the fold. A timely reminder... That the challenges posed by each primal are unique. Elder Frixio, we thank you for making you real well known to us. The people of Gridani will rest easier in the knowledge that they and the Sylphs are united in their desire for peace. Wishing to, to cooperate, this one has written down the feelings of these ones. Please see if these feelings are conveyed to Horned One, Kaisana. Thanks. And with that, I believe we can lay the matter of Ramu to rest. The self elder is very reasonable, I must say. You could learn a lot from him. Right there. Hmm, was that a jibe? If so, I feel like it's only fair to observe that one of us wouldn't recognize reason if I punched her in the nose. Did I say fair? I meant reasonable. I will punch you. Anyway, we're going to head back to the Walking Sands and tell Infilia all about it. Fear not, we will be sure to mention the instru instrumental part you played in all of this. And while we see to that, we should appreciate it if you would deliver Frixio's missive to, Elder to the Adder's Nest. Sure can. Elder Frixio, we humbly thank you for your time. It has been an honor. Bye. The honor, the honor in this one's to... The honor is this one's. Together let the walking ones of Gridani and these ones find a way to live in peace. Please wait, walking one faith. This one has yet to give walking one a token of this one's appreciation. Ooh, crystal. When these ones summoned Lord Ramu, these ones were gifted this crystal. This one would now bestow the crystal upon walking one as a symbol of these ones' trust. <gasps> we're best friends now. It's like a friendship crystal. I have a Batman mask. I guess Catwoman? No. Black cat. One of those. Oh wait, I have one from Efert already. Oh, yes. And another one. I don't remember where the other one came from. I got three though. Leviathan? Was that that one? I don't remember. We got three. Talk to a tree? Nope. This one was not mistaken about walking one. 
Yeah, I'm collecting them and it feels good. Walking one is destined to walk a fate far crueler than this one can imagine. A brilliant light from within walking one hasn't enveloped the crystal this one saw. Mark this one's word, that crystal will one day be the be of use to walking one. Walking one must keep that crystal safe at all times. Before walking one returns to Gridania, this one would ask walking one to watch touched ones. So long as touched ones are not troubled, touched ones will not make trouble. If walking one witness touched ones making no trouble, may have walking one testify to walking ones of Gridania that these ones mean no harm. These ones' homeland is fraught with danger. This one marks down safe places to look out for touched ones. Nice. Sick. Alright, this wants me to go to Gridania. Damn it. Okay. I thought it was gonna have me go to Gridania right now. Fat cat! Penelope Tater! Oh, she. Are they on the same quest I am? I'm trying to clip on this. Fucking. Not you! Look out. There you go. They are purple. They're purple! These are the tempered sylphs in the distance. They now sense they pose danger if left alone. Alright, we'll leave them alone then. They can live in purpleness all alone. I keep clicking that. Level 40 will fuck me up, so let's not do that. Oh, he had a cool looking chocobo. Aha! Now we go here. Ah, shit. I could have just normal teleported for free. We'll go to uh, our shoes real quick. Welcome back, Faith. Javer tells me that you've encountered Pawa Majuk. No Gridanian could fail to recognize that name, so it is oft has it to be spoken with such bitterness. Well, I fear we have lacked the strength to face ourselves. This is a matter for the gods quiver and the ward whalers. Thank that you confronted her and survived is a testament to your growing mastery of our art. Ah, oh, it was a surprise to note that Leia and Silver were not at loggerheads upon their return. I presume we owe this unnatural state of affairs to your calming influence. No? Modest to the last. Trust truly you. Your every deed speaks of clarity of vision far beyond your years. I implore you to share the perspective with your peers and help them to grow into better, wiser archers. As you go forth and temper your skills in battle, know that we will always look forward to your return. Sick. Give me a super awesome bow. Yeah, that's going to do one more damage. Okay. Actually, we'll just take the money right now because I'll get 25 here in a second. See? Ah, Faith, I had hoped you would become. You come. You may be able to help. I am concerned about Leia and Sivir. They show signs of losing perspective, and, well, mayhap it is best you see for yourself. I can't help but feel that both would benefit from your counsel. Consider this personal request, Faith. What, do I gotta talk to them both? Ugh, I, I don't. Just kick him out of the guild, that's my counsel. Hmm? Oh, gods. Did Lucian send you to pass to me by any chance? This is hardly her concern and is most definitely not yours. If you must know, I have decided to leave the guild. Good, get the fuck out of here. I meant to track down Pawa Majuk and finish what we started. The gods Quiven Woodwailers seem content to ignore our warnings, but I will not let her escape again. I already made this mistake once and it cost me my place in the gods quiver. I, the foolish junk sentry whom I spoke, it was me. We had her faith. There were no escape. But then she began to wail about a wandering, wounded comrade. One who would surely die without her help. She looked me straight in the eye and begged. And I blinked. I failed to see through the most elementary rules. I failed Gudani and the gun's quiver. And while I can never be forgiven, mayhap I can reclaim a measure of honor by stopping her. But a wanderer like you would not understand what it means to betray your people. Worry not. I do not intend to leave just yet. I will continue to gather information until I am certain of Majuk's whereabouts. Make no mistake, though. It is only a matter of time. Now run along, will you? Oh, and if you are so concerned about your fellow guildmates, you should attend to that moping Mikote. The sight of us shuffling around while staring at her feet is bad for morale. Not that it matters to me. Ah, oh, fucking I hate him. Just let him go. Oh, it's you. Tell me, Faith. Do you ever think about me? Think about home? You ever wish you could go back? Mine was just another poor village in the Twelveswood. The fields were more stone than soil, and the merchants hardly ever bothered to visit. We didn't have a lot. But we didn't need it. And then the calamity came. I remember running and screaming. It was so loud. 
face so unbearably loud. And then I was there, in a strange city surrounded by more people than I'd ever seen. And I didn't know any of them. But I knew how to hunt. I was always good at hunting, face. And the good guild gave me a place to get better. At least I thought I'd gotten better. She... Follow my joke. She was so much more. I've been thinking, face. And maybe this is a sign. Maybe Sylvia is right in this guild. This city has no place for an outsider like me. And so I've decided to leave. I'm glad to have known you, Faith, even if it was only for a short while. You could stay. Forgive me if this is a selfish request, but before I go, I would like to meet with you one last time. Alone in this house round, these Redonians would not understand. Uh, interesting. Okay, that wants me to go to Quarry Mill. We're not going to do that. We're going to teleport to... There's no teleport over there? Come on. Boo. Alright. Guess we'll just have to hoof it. Oh, wrong way. This way. Do these stack? That'd be kind of cool. Actually, they actually might. Holy crap. Ah! If it isn't Faith, how went the meeting with the Sylphs? Pretty good, if I do so say so myself. There you go. I miss it from the self fielder himself, if I may. That's a him? I thought it was a her. So the Sylphs have no desire for conflict, nor do they intend to summon Ramu. And so as long as believed the tempered ones be, you need not fear any aggression on their part. The Elder Seeds here will be overjoyed to hear that. The Sylphs have welcomed our, our overtures. And in the knowledge that they bear us no ill will, we may channel our resources back into tackling the more conspicuous threats for our security. You have done this nation a great service, my friend. On behalf of all Gridanians, I give you my thanks. Hell yeah. Oh, that's something else for me. The Sylphic Vogue have long been friends to Gridania. The mere thought of being at war with them pain, pain the Elder Seeds here to no end. But owing you to your efforts, you will be able to rest easier. Being the benevolent soul that she is, my lady will surely try to find a way to reverse the tempering process. Once again, I thank you. Had the signs of the Seventh Dawn not offered to me mediate between our peoples, suspicion and doubt may have led us into needless conflict. Pray pass on my regards to Lady Minfilia. I'm getting a call. Hello, Faith. Can you hear me? It's Minfilia. I don't remember the voice I gave her. Ida and Palpilimo returned some while ago, and they wasted no time in regaling me with the tale of your exploits. Thanks in large part to you, the name of one primal may stuck, be struck from our list of enemies, and the Gridonians may turn their attention to more pressing matters. Well done. Yet the state of one tale is but the start of another. Pray return to the waking stands of your earliest convenience. I would apprise you on their present situation in person. Cool beans. I got a free teleport over there. Okay. You want me to go to Corn Mill. Let's see if I can finish this up real quick. Shiny. What have we here? I look awesome. Hi friends, you guys are short. No, don't not hurt her. I knew she's the betrayer. And there I was thinking you might might have accepted my kind invitation. I don't recall inviting her though. It's rude to presume, Missy. And I do so hate rudeness. It's not her fault, it's mine. I invited her. She's a member of the Archer's Guild, like me, and she's not Cardanian. Ah, I do begin to recall her face. I knows how to knows how to hold a bow, that one. Well, she ain't the typical recruit, but I reckon I might be willing to make an exception. Yep. No, no, it's not like that. I just wanted to say goodbye. Face, ever since I met Pawa, I've been a little lost, but I realize now that my place is in the guild with the Cardanians. You'll never accept me. This is where I belong, with my people, carrying on our traditions, our archery, not Gridania's. It's all I have left, Beast, so I'm going with Pawa. Maybe you don't understand now, but just promise me you won't let Lucian or Sylvia. Sure. Beast! Made your peace. Er. Made your peace with your little friend, Heavy. Right then, let's get on with it. Oh, fuck off, man. Put an arrow on her. Really? No! Ain't no love to, lost twixt me and the guild, is there? Then what's the problem with Feather and a bloody venture? No bugger, old miss her. I'll miss her, alright. So just, just stop! Dear me, 
And I had such high hopes for you, Miss Elifo. Waste of bloody time. A keeper what's lost her nerve about as much... It's about as much use to me as a glass bow. But there's no sport in killing captured prey. I better not see neither of you again, because if I do, I'll show you what happens to prey. What's after him to get tossed... Get caught twice. Oh wait, sisters. Oh wait. Okay. Well, your plan just fell through 30 seconds after you made it. How do you do it, Faze? How do you live in this place with these people? And why don't you... Why do you even bother? Why have they ever given you besides scorn? Well, what do you see in them, Faze? Even though you joined up the guild after I did, you've come so far so quickly. Maybe you even surpassed me. I have to know how you done it. I have to know what it is that I'm doing wrong. I'm not a dick, and I don't trust dicks. The only one way I can think to find out. Meet me at the panic. Fucking making me go all over the place to talk to you. Oh my god, you're... Are you seriously making me go all over the place? What is this? Where am I? Really? You make me go all over. You suck. Uncool, dude. Wait, hold up. Yeah. Thought it was gonna be close. Fine. You are the living mate. Don't need to talk to you. Make news for friends. Tell me to get face. Level 29. Ooh. Then defend yourself. Show me what these people have taught you. Against you? Wait, what? Okay. Let's fucking go. She's just gonna be able to tap me on, isn't she? <laughs> it's no use running. You're gonna get jumped by that bird. Do you see it? I'm messing you up. Damn, I'm messing you up. You missed. You shouldn't do the AOE right there. Bad idea. I win. Oh my god, she actually died. <laughs> okay, hey, wake up. I know you got like 40 arrows in you, but... It's so simple. You have opened my eyes and I look beyond your master's faults. You have opened your eyes and look beyond your master's faults. You've accepted their teachings and taken them to heart. Even severe for all his bigotry, which is only to preserve his traditions. You got all that from fighting? I lost sight of everyone else's struggle and became as tough as my own. I was so afraid to let go of my cherished notion of archery, my family's notion, and learn another way. I didn't want to betray them or dishonor their memory. But I have a family here too, and a family that sees where their world, and is willing to show me how blinkered I've become. Blinkered? As archers, we train our eyes and minds to be unforgiving, to defy any attempt at consumer and discern the naked truth. It is little wonder then that I have neglected to look inside myself until now. Though unquestionably worthwhile, I have found the experience rather excruciating. Because <clears throat> you got a lot of arrows in you. Thank you, Faith. I know now that I belong at the guild, together with you and Lucien. And yes, even the bloody wild wildwood. God help me, I think I might actually miss him. Really? Because I would suggest that you and I, you know, go together and just... Make sure that his body's never found. That sounds okay to me. Use the teleport this time. Alright. Whoa, the lag. Uh, Archer. Nope, oh, quick. Someone playing the drums? Did you guys hear that? We're gonna get a new bow. What's up? Welcome home, face. You need not say a word, one look at Leia's eyes with enough. Thank you for returning her to us. We can focus on a single goal and pursue it with passion and fervor. It becomes easy to lose sight of what else lies before us. With your skill and vision faith, you can help your fellow watchers to look beyond themselves and remember their comrades. I hope I can count on your support in the future. Absolutely, give me this bow. Oh, I get it. I get all of it. That's cool. Get some gloves. Yeah, let's get some bloves. Nice. Looking mighty fresh. Cool. We are caught up. Now let's go... Oof. All the way over here, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. 
Vesper Bay. Haha. I have teleport to go there. We're fine. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. My armory chest is full. Sucky. Okay. Um. Cool. We're gonna sell all those. To you! Nope. Where's the sell person? Oh, this is... This is not the... The merchant place I thought it was. Esper Bay. Oh, it's stinky. Look, she's petting her own nose. Oh, it's stinky, Jesus. We're here. I haven't been here in forever. Wait, was it you? It's you. Oh, yeah, I love her. She's adorable. Oh, it isn't my favorite adventure. Welcome back, face. I forgot her voice. Lady may feel he awaits you in the solar. Please enter at your leisure. Why do I need to talk to you first, even though you're adorable? Excuse you. Your hair style looks like a chocobo butt. A chocobo butt. Oh, God. No, I don't want to talk to this fucking twins. I am given to the understanding that matters of Ramu have been finally resolved. Hmm, I fear resolve bespeaks per permanence we cannot rightly claim, yet I am will... Yet I am well satisfied that the Lord Levin will not trouble us in the foreseeable future. Your satisfaction is assurance enough for me. How fair is the investigation? Well enough. Tangrid is sparing, uh, is sparing no effort. There are many, and one. Just as you were suspected, their purpose, however, eludes us still. I see. Ah, I've been meaning to ask. What is it? I say quite well. I feel as if I have scarcely seen her in recent days. Ah, you haven't. Nor have I, alas. Alice a will choose to walk her own path, stubborn girl. But you may be assured that our destination remains the same. And on that note, I take my leave of you. I trust the Baldessian report will serve you well. Baldessian? Was that it? I take it we can proceed on as discussed. Why do you ask? You scarce need my permission to ask. Ugh, please don't make them, like, important. Do not like them. But I look like a boss. No, don't talk to me. It is good to see you again, Faith. Hi, friends. I'm in a whole different set of gear. Different freaking class. It's awesome. That staff behind her is broken, I just realized it. It's the shards of Nasu. I've been looking forward to congratulating you on your triumph. The twelves would- Oh, you know what? I have voices I could be giving them, huh? I have been looking forward to congratulating you on your triumph in the twelves would. Owing to your efforts, conflict has been averted. Truly, you have done the science proud. With that, we can strike Ramu off the list. So what's next? The Song of Ian and Leviathan? The Lord of War! Has not answered his minions' call of late, nor is he expected to do so in the near future. While the Sahagin remain as aggressive as ever, they lack the quantity of crystals required to call forth their god. As with the Sylphs, we can leave them to their own devices, for a time at least. I don't remember your voice. For a time. As repeating, we can look forward to fall complacent. It is as Ishtola says, unless we know the minds of the beast tribes, we cannot predict with any certainty where the next pile will return to plague the land. I'm clicking, there it goes. This being the case, we must proceed with as much haste as prudence allows. Any word on Titan? The maelstrom keeps the kobolds under concert observation. We shall hear from there along. You may depend upon it. Indeed! So then... Of all the known primals we have been active in the recent times, we are left with... Redania! Wait, I mean Garuda! Who is the primal of the Ixal, who lived near Redania. Yes, that's what I meant. So many mounds to co cover. Would that, there, would that there were a more efficient way to conduct our surveys? Where he's still with us, we should not long have wanted for a more predictable, or practicable... Practicable? I can't say that word. Practicable. Pra pra practicable. Practicable? Oh my god. Whatever. Solution. These people just hanging out in the corner over here. 
She's not wrong there. Where in the world are you, chief? Click. Jeez. What? One sure step at a time. Henceforth, the order of the Twin Ender will handle all matters pertaining to the Sylphs. Under the sage guidance of the Seed Seers. I bid you all enjoy a moment's respite. You have earned it. And then they're gonna be like, here's a new quest. Immediately. Oh, but base may have a moment. Calling it. I like my new hair. Looks fancy. Is there something else, Faith? Are you, are you, are you? Beg pardon? A man named La Brea, sporting a red mask and robed in black. Twelve preserve. Prior to the calamity, the Essians took great plans. Pains to have remained hidden. Why would they choose to cast off their veil of secrecy now? Gods, this bodes ill. We must take advantage of the present lull and primal hostilities to investigate the La Brea. Learn all we can of him and his designs. I'd read to think. Oh shit. Eek! Oh, someone's messing up Tataru. I gotta murder him. Don't fuck her up. Tataru! Oh, don't hurt her. You're gonna get dead. I will torture your ass. Oh, you just got scared by yourself. It's good, don't worry. A sylph. And then a line? Oh. At long last, this one's fine, walking one faith. This one is most dependable of these ones. It's sent by other one Frixio to keep help walking ones. This one is called Noraxia. This one comes as a friend. Let these ones be friends. Uh, she's adorable. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Noraxia. We have Sylphs as allies. Nice. Wait a minute. Where are we going? Ew. Why did it make me leave to come back in? Yes, Tataru is, is as ready to express her fright as she is to express everything else. Not all of us are forged of the same steel as you, I'm afraid. But it takes all kinds to make a family, and it pleases me to no end to see ours continue to grow one by one. The people of Aorzi are beginning to unite, Faith, drawn by to the hope that shines within you. Yet the darkness threatens to engulf this light. Never have I doubted that Essian's presence, but that they have grown so brazen as to carry out their work in plain sight fills me with a sense of deep foreboding. Dude, she just keeps giving me free teleports. That's awesome. I am afraid there's no rest for the weary, Faith. We must delve further into the motivations of the masked man, the Ossian known as La Habrea. This is an ideal moment to do so while our hands are not bound dealing with another primal. At present, we know little and less about the Ossians, only that destruction follows in their wake. I should not be surprised if these beings are behind the chaos that rags the realm. If my fears are proved to, if my fears prove to be reality, we must do all in our all in our power to stop them. Earlier, I sent word to each grand company to, company to solicit cooperation. The immortal flames responded in the fact that they have information on potential sighting. This is intelligence that we can ill afford to ignore. Go speak with the flame commander Swift at the Hall of Flames in Ulda to inquire further. How you go about the investigation thereafter, I leave wholly to your discretion. But whatever you do, never forget that we are dealing with the unknown. You cannot take too many precautions. Be safe, Faith. Dun dun. Okay, now what? Go to Ulda. We're going. Heoink. Do I have enough money to buy new gear? Probably not. I only did one, like, quest. Or, uh, dungeon instance thingy. Jarvis Greymane! Hello! Swift Flame Commander. Ah, oh, the masked man. Ah, oh, you'll come to help the signs, of course. Yes, as we've already relayed to Mi Lady Minfilia, there has been a sighting of this rogue near the eastern Thalanon. The Brass Blade, stationed at the High Bridge, described him in detail when he alerted us to suspicious activity. I would point you to the witness, but I'm afraid he died not two days ago, slain by the marauding horde of Kirin. Fate be cruel, it can be a cruel mistress. But do not be too quick to despair. Being situated on trade route, High Bridge sees its fair share of travelers. Works are always coming and going, and some of them may well have caught a glimpse of your target. You could do worse than to speak with a merchant named Kehabaru. 
The fellow's always starved for customers, and he no doubt welcome your attention whether or not you have the coin in the, or the mind to spend it. Okay. We're just bouncing all over the place. I have four minutes of experience juice left. <laughs> wow, this whole, the playthrough so far has come full circle. Wind fight? What was that move? Welcome to the High Bridge Adventure. Whatever you seek, I hear a who can provide it. Probably. You're after a masked man? Hmm. You're not sure I have one of those in stock. Oh, you're after a masked man. Why didn't you say so sooner? Such an individual might have featured in one of my many rumors I've heard. If you linger around, well, mayhap, you'll learn a thing or two, eh? Ooh, leveled up. Nice. Anything? Ooh. Storm Private's acting. Oh, it looks lame. Oh, what I was wearing before was so much cooler. When the order of Nald... Naldal began excavating the ruins below, I had hopes that Highbridge would turn into a bustling hub for group pilgrims. But thanks to one nigh endless beastman raids, folk are too afraid to come within a mile of here. I sold everything I owed to get my adventure started. I loathe to give up without making an earnest effort to stick it out. But if things keep going as they are, I'll be bankrupt before the moon is though through. Whining won't do me any good though. No, for my business to swipe. That is a cool horse. I need business. Speaking of which, perhaps you would like to browse my wares? Spend a bit of coin to help a struggling merchant? The masked man? Ah, uh, I'll take your bloody masked man. I know what I said before, but vague rumors are all I've got. If you want to know more about him, go ask the other merchants. Actually, do you have anything for sale? I've, I could have bought some for you. Where have you bought the bumber blood I asked for? I sold and handed over quickly. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Finish the quest. Didn't even mean to. Long last, my friend. You're a godsend. Now, how did it go? Oh, yes. Stir twice, a dash of spittle, shake thrice more, and voila! That's disgusting. Well, what are you waiting for, friend? Grab yourself a dollop and start spreading. My scalp cries out for sucker. Oh, and try to do not to miss a spot. What? Why? What did I do? That's, I don't know what I did for you, but it's freaking me out. Is this it? A tonic? Put it on his head. Oh, oh my, that tingles. Why, I've already feel my paws opening in no time at all. I have flowing locks and full long. Oh, he's getting hair to grow back. I can't think of enough, friend. What with the sun beating down the way it does in these parts, a bald plate is a potentially fatal affliction. Neat. Weakening poison potion, binding potion, money. Cool. Turn in a quest. Oh, hell yeah. I forgot there's two quests. Right here. Because I finished him at 24. Let's go! Wow, that turned out really well. Do not look. Oh, you've seen the birds, have you? Splendid work, friend. Now head back down and return to the research. Uh, worry not, I'll be along in a moment now. Be on your way. Want some pants? 25. Yeah. Let's build some boots. Oh, wait. The pants are slightly better. Eh. Yeah. Money. He wants more. Oh, greetings. Oh, wait. Oh, greetings. Thanks to you, Fred. My roots has finally gotten off the ground. So many discoveries to be made and ancient wonders to be restored. And yet, I only have these two hands with which to do my work. If only I could convince the Order of the potential significance of my work, perhaps they would be willing to dispatch aid. I have here a report of my findings thus far. Why would you be so kind to deliver it to some dude that I accidentally clicked on? We have savage packings and budget droppings at last. I cannot thank you enough, friend. When I make my next historic discovery, you may take pride in knowing that you helped make it possible. You can name it after me. That sounds pretty dope. Okay. Mine is better. And money. I have heard tale of the Mass Devil. Seems he's been appearing not only around Highbridge, but elsewhere around Thalon Island, too. Enough folks have reported seeing him to convince me that he's more than a figment of the imagination. But little is known about him otherwise. Okay. Go talk to the other two. Oh, those are the other two. Oh, so many quests to turn in. And a fate. Who are we fighting, boys? On the trail of Mass Bad? Oh, I've heard of him. But only in hushed tones and fate whispers. It's that he wears a black hooded robe and looks right suspicious. And that's all about, like I say, little though it is. You talking Sephiroth? Is that a Sephiroth reference? Okay. Well, we're here. Fate time. I'm helping.
Where are you going, buddy? Ooh, don't do that. Oops, I pushed the button and didn't mean to push it. Oh, I'm out of super experienced juice. Everyone stay away from me. Of those people were enemies. We did it. Well, now we gotta finish them off because they're fighting me. Ah. Wait, there's another fate? I said it was done. It started again. Oh, Act 2. Oh, what is this? multi acts This is cool. Neat. Kind of cool that there's tiers of uh, fates. You complete them, it goes on to the next tier. Are we done? All right, they leaving. We did it. Maybe. Still in combat. Er, I've seen a masked man wearing a dark robe. No, I haven't. No, do I wish to. Isn't this bad enough without shady characters lurking about? Folks have been giving Highbridge a wide berth because of all the Kirin raids. None of the most div, none but the most devout pilgrims are willing to come here anymore. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate the inputs. Fat cat. Judging by your expression, I take you didn't learn much abuse. Look, I'm sorry for the rudeness earlier. It's just that things are tough for us mergers at the moment. The Kirin raids are so constant, so organized, we're beginning to suspect that someone is orchestrating it all. Am I going to have to fight that fate again? I did my own welfare first, just like most of us do. But well, that doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I promise to keep an eye out for your masked man. If I see or hear anything, you'll be the first to know. I finally got some honest to goods information on your masked man. Why so confident? Because I saw him with my own two eyes. I was literally here. How did you see him without me? I was out for evening stroll, minding my own business, when I noticed a column of smoke rising from a cliff over the uh, Thal's respite. Curious, I took a look over there myself, find a mess man, your mess man, I'm sure of it, standing by a fire. As if in an answer, some Kirin appeared soon after. And the group began talking at length. I'm afraid it was too far out of earshot to hear much of anything. After the group had disappeared, an idea came to me. If you were to use this smoldering coal to start a fire, you might be able to arrange a similar meeting. You'll be dangerous, I shouldn't doubt. But you've proven yourself more than a match for a pack of rats. So what do you think? That's some, that's some sound, reliable information, even if I do say so myself. Well, with all the lingering about you've been doing, wouldn't you say? He's calling me a loiter. Accusing me of loitering, bruh. Hell yeah, wants me to go up there anyways. Let's go turn in the quest.
27? Let's help. Is it just me? I think it's just me. So we're just gonna have to deal. Oh, I need to kill these guys anyways. Hell yeah. Oh, don't hit me. I'm coming to help. Take this out. Hey, wheeze. Boom. Shit, I have a bunch of them attacking me. Alright, we're gonna heal. Did someone heal me, or did I get my own heal off? Wow, someone's doing insane damage. And it ain't me. Oh, we got a bunch of friends showing up. Like NPCs. Get wrecked, holy crap. Yeah, we did it. Thanks, friends. Good luck to everyone. Oh, he has 16 minutes left. We're fine. I have a smoky thing. Are you here to help out? Murder. Oh, my buddy leveled up. Hell yeah. Wait, did he not? <laughs> so many people are on this quest, huh? Actually, so I'm going to go turn in these quests that I have right here. Hello. Kyokuzo. Welcome, adventure. May you find recipes for your hardships. Here you go. Ever you apart from Claudia and of Highbridge? A most welcome surprise, indeed. I was prepared to wait months before the young one made any significant progress. What's this? The ruins date back to the later. the latter. Melodian era, and the house final resting place of Lulafudo the fourth himself. The historical implications of his research are beyond anything the Order might have imagined. I must arrange for additional researchers and supplies to be sent to Highbridge immediately. Suppose you're gonna send me there? Adventurers, merchants, and travelers, the Thal's respite is op always open to those who seek monastery reprieve from the hardships of the road. In the past few, welcomed countless multitudes through these doors. Sadly, the growing presence of hostile beast tribes and savage creatures now deters many from making the pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. Shame, is it not? Perhaps you could come to our aid. The most fearsome of the local fauna is the axe beak. Free to thin the, thin the flock? Say, by four birds or so. I do believe that these halls would be far more approachable. Man, these... So much better than WoW. Kill 30 of these things. Excuse me? Oh. This is... Interesting. Oh. I thought there was a marker here. Eh. They're here. We'll kill some on the way. I help. Will that count? It will. Ow! He hammer beat me. Oh, don't like that. Ew. Why did you blow at me? That looks like the, uh... Tiny Bronco. From Seven. Bear! I want that mount, he's adorable. Axel, soon we are afraid. Able to find any clues leading to your masked man? Uh, th this girl bears a prayer to Relgar, the destroyer. In case you're unfamiliar, Relgar is the guardian deity of Alamigo, which is currently under guardian rule. It is highly uncommon for folk of the other nations to revere him. I'd wager my last kill that your assailant was Alamigan. 
It seems this masked man of yours is very well connected. I must confess, the merchant in me envies such a diverse network of contracts or contacts. This self to me. Self same merchant. I don't know what that word is. Merchant also sends the danger ahead. The darkness besides. Are you certain you'd rather not take things nice and slow here on High Bridge? Level 27. Now, Follow me and Bandit, you had a run in with the somehow connected to your masked man of mystery. So it sends reason that if you want to pick up the trail again, you should head toward Little Alamigo over in South Talonan. Just so you know what to expect, the settlement is a favorite destination for those refugees who couldn't, well, adapt to life in Ulda. The hearts of the denizens are said to be as barren as the wasteland they live for. And for all intents and purposes, it's a lawless place. Be prepared for a not so warm welcome. Now, I'm not certain how much help she'll, she will be, but it just so happens I have a daughter who has uh, re relocated to little Alamigo. Her name is Hihara, and it shouldn't hurt to seek her out first. And while you have your attention, I'd be obliged if you could send my love. Not a day goes by that I don't think of her. I suppose this is it then. I had hoped that you would linger here a while, call some fiends, spend some coin, what have you. But something tells me you're destined for greater things. Whatever it is up to, I wish you the best. Thanks, buddy. Can I teleport over there? I sure can! It'd be great if I could just catch the main quest up. Annabelle, that's not who I want to talk to. You're not who I want to talk to. Someone out here. There you go. Amalot. Nope. Ihara. Hmm, yes, why? Why, yes, here borrows my father. He said, what? I wish I could be a better daughter to him. It's just that... Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with family matters, but I'm grateful to you for delivering the message. Now, then, what brings you here? A masked man? I'm afraid the description doesn't ring any bells. But one of the others here might have seen something. I recommend you first speak with Godabal, the leader of the settlement. I must warn you, though, he isn't exactly accommodating to outsiders. It's good. There is a quest. Or a fate. Gundabald. Where are you? State your business and be quick about it. Looking for a mass village, you say? And why should we we help you pray? We struggle enough without having to answer the whim of every outsider. You are not welcome here. Be gone. But I got some stuff I can give you. Someone tell me over how to win his favors. Gizzlebert. Well met, adventurer. I'm Gizzlebert, head of security here at Little Alamigo. I heard to tell you that it's business with Gundabold. Knowing the grizzly old bear, doubt, no doubt he told you to bugger off. Owing to their hardships, the refugees don't trust anyone but themselves. Not even my men, and I can get so much as word thanks out of them despite watching the place day and night. But thanks to you know, I try not to help. I try to help my fellow man while I can, and you seem a decent sort. If you tell me what's brought you here, might as well lend a hand. You're a spy. On the road, trail of a masked villain, you say? Hmm, can't say that sounds familiar, but I have men on lookout of, for Amalaj on the south of here. If there's been a suspicious activity, they are likely to have seen it. I had a mind to take them each a cup of sweet sanal and tea, so as to lift their spirits. If you were to run this little iron in my stead, they'd be all more willing to tell you what they know. Sure. Let's do it. Oh my god. Bunch of boys. It's fine. Uh, it's really bothering me that I'm out of orange juice. Well, I'm not of orange juice. I haven't drank it. Because I was going to end stream. But I'm like, feeling like I'm so close. So finally saying, hey, you've caught up on level. You gotta go level up more. Here you go. I got some stuff for you. Who's the hell that I am trying to conserve energy here? So leave me alone. You don't want some tea? Let's just... Well, ain't you considerate. Thanks, friend. What's that? A mass villain? Hiding among the refugees? Like a... Like, a, like as not. Our compatriots all live here. Go about as though they were dead on their feet. It's near impossible to tell what's on their minds. For all I know, they're all up to no good. That was new music. Angry River, that's his name. That's cool. You there. Are you a Maljana? No, then carry on. Want some tea? Oh, this viscid roba. It has been forever since I had a drop of sweet Thalanon. I'm going to enjoy this. What? Masked man? Don't know, don't care. Unless you got a dark, scaly skin. S 
stands ten foams tall and has the face of a lizard, and I don't give it a murmur's fart. A murmur's fart. What about you? Would you like some tea? Me up there. You like my bike? It's pretty sick, huh? Shoo, shoo, don't bother me. It's a monster of runners. I'm blaming you. What? Tea? Let me move this. For me, you shouldn't have. Sorry, suspicious modest man. As a matter of fact, I've gotten glimpses of someone fitting, fitting that description during patrol. Well, I couldn't quite mark out whether it was man or not. With with all the mask in the robe, but assuming it was he, he was talking with the Samala Migans. I assumed he was one of them. <sighs> Information for me. Man, every time I have to make a long trek, it's always been... That's a coddle that's coming out. At least today. I did it. Ah, so you're back. So did my lookouts have a to share with you? Hmm, that doesn't sound like much to go by. If you're to get any further in investigation, it seems you'll need the cooperation of the Alamians. For this, you'll need to win their trust. And that won't be an easy task. Do I want a hat? Nah. Lots of money. So you've determined to press on with your investigation? Then I have some advice to offer. As I said before, you won't get far without the Alamigans' trust. And the best way to win that trust is to get a compatriot of theirs. Someone they respect to vouch for you. Coin does the talking in Ulda, but the Alamigans are bound to something far stronger. If not a tangible, a common purpose. The purpose, of course, is the liberation of their home from the Garleans. Oh, that's bad. Gundabald belongs to the Alamiga resistance, so your best bet would be to someone who's part of the same crew. If you know any well-connected people, you might want to start asking them. Who's this? Oh god. Huh! Wait, that's all... That's way... Back at the main area. I have so many teleports. Does that count as a city? Will I get it rest of experience there? Man, that guy's still here. That chocobo butt hair dude. Two teleports to get into this area. Welcome back, Faith. How fair is the investigation? I see. Given all that they have suffered, it is little wonder that Alamega and refugees have lost faith in their fellow men. They've had their homeland taken from them, and for the past two decades, have had to see it remain in enemy's clutches. To compound matters, none of the three city-states have, have the means to take in all those who were displaced. As a result, a great many Alamegans now live on the margins of society, suffering poverty and discrimination. With that... More could be done to see easier hardships. I fear that nothing short of reclaiming their homeland would be a lasting solution. But let us deal with the one problem at a time. Returning to the matter of your investigation, it just so happens there is an Alamega native among the Scions. I should be pleased to introduce him to you. New gear? Uh, nah. Money! Oh, what's that? Weapon coffer? A heavy chest containing weapon. Huh, nice. Your Alamegan comrade is named Harrybert. How's that dude that we already met? He joined our cause in the hopes that he might find a way to liberate his homeland. While he spares no effort towards the endeavor, I have no doubt that he would be glad to assist you. If I recall correctly, Harrybert is currently between missions. Try looking for him in the storage area. Storage area? Where's that? I probably should have checked before leaving. Oh, cool. I needed to leave anyway. Hello, friend. There's Biggs and Wedge over there. <laughs> if it isn't Faith Gainsborough, the sands rise and star. Is there aught I can do for you? I don't know why I gave him that accent, but I did, certainly did. You wish to win the trust of the people, Alam little Alamigo? That is a daunting task, my friend, even for our own, my, our own countrymen. I would like nothing more to help, but I'm afraid my name no longer carries weight with that law. I has to be a member of the Alamigo resistance, but you see... But I left in favor of joining the Scions. Though my allegiance may have shifted, my purpose remains ever the same. The liberation of Alamigo. Yet, whenever my reasons burn, I abandon my comrades and they'll have nothing to do with me. Now, while I have no more friends in the Resistance, I know someone who does. Her name is Albretta, and she's a resident of Quarimel. Quarimel. Say my name when you meet her and she won't lead you astray. Okay. Scion supplier. Walking Sands... It's a $5,000 record. Sure. Yes, I finally got a thing. I should sell my monies. <gasps> and those bows. 
Hold on. What else do I need to sell? Monies. That was barely a thousand to gold. It's fine. We're going to Fairy Mill. I almost have half a mill though. That's kind of nice. Jongy boy. Hello. Eh? You want me to introduce you to the residents? Ha! <laughs> Why the hell should I do that? Give me just one reason. Because this dude said so. Harry Brown said you. Ugh, that worthless horse son. He abandons his comrades. His woman. Now he's got to go to ask me for a favor. Simply incredible. I just... I mean... I realized Harry Bird was only doing what he felt was right. He's a good man. And if he trusts you, then that's all I need to know. You see the bloke there? That's Milford. A captain of the resistance. I hope we can give you what you need. I got a... A box thing? What was that? Trapped Elm. I'm pretty sure mine is going to be better. Yep. Bummer. Oh well. I guess not that big of a deal. Killing him softly. That's the name of the quest. Oh! Right there. What is this? Oh, there's a quest over there that I finished apparently. I was about to go all the way over there. Ah, I'm Mirfred, a proud man of the Alamegan Resistance. What business do you have with me, adventurer? C captain it's, it's the Gellion, sir! His wound's gone unfestered and he's burning it up! I don't think he's got much time. God damn it! I guess the villagers for aid got on my knees and begged, but they refused to lift a finger. If Gallion dies, his blood is on their hands. This choir mill cra cravens would turn a blind eye to our plight, but they listen might listen to Albretta. I fear my anger will prevent me from rightly convincing anyone at the moment. I realize we scarce know each other, but this is a matter of life and death. Please, adventurer, go to her and try it. Sure, she's right over there. I got this. Don't you worry. Hey, guess what? Some things are happening. Someone needs some medicine. One of Milford's is about to ship it, you say? I, I'm sorry, but there's not I can do. I want to help truly, I do. There's my countryman, after all. But that mean going against the elemental's will. I've been in Quarrymail long enough to know how right terrible the beings can be. I couldn't forget myself if everyone gets banished because of me. If there's anyone who can help you, it'd be Charlene, the Hamlet's resident he hearer. If you take the matter to her, she might... Might be she'll listen. But I wouldn't get my hopes up. God damn it. This is just a fucking run all over the place quest. He said such as she said to tell you that she said this and they said this. You wish to aid the Alamegans, you are possessed of a kind heart adventurer, but I'm afraid I have not the authority to, to, to grant your wish. This authority belongs to the elementals, eternal guardians of the Twelve's Wood. All outsiders may they, be they babes of the breasts or men grown, are judged, judged of a night whether they have a place beneath the bows. Alas, the Alamegans' petition has been denied. Harsh though it may seem, they do not have, the, have leave to receive the Wood's bounty. Ever has it been since time immemorial, and ever shall it be. Sorry, dude. Your dude's gotta die. I felt like I got over there by the time that got summoned. That's how it'll be to them. The bloody hero might as well kill Galleon himself. Spit on the elementals and spit on their bloody will. I cannot wait till until the residence is free of this place. Tell me how you really feel. I leave my men to Quarrymail, hoping to find refuge. Instead, we find indifference. The cold-blooded bastards here want us out. I can't oblige them soon enough. The problem is, some of mine aren't fit to travel. Hell's galling in, can't even stand. As you well know, the people of, the, of this accursed hamlet won't help us. So I have no choice but to turn to you, adventurer. In my homeland, Long Island, to love home is traditionally remedy with poison purging properties. If you could bring me, say, four horns, I'd forever be in your debt. Please tell me I have some of those. Nope. But, we're going up where I have a quest that's done. I need to go to bed, holy crap. 40 minutes over time. Although I did start late. But I also did not get any editing done. I can shoot through trees? Hell yeah. <laughs> Ring around the rosy on these trees. We'll go turn in this quest real quick. Oh yeah, I remember. I finished this quest by picking all these apples, but I couldn't turn it in because I wasn't high enough level. Axel Zulu, let's see you've got the basket of yours. Here's your apples. I'll be just as out of your harvest as much me mouthwatering. You've an eye for picking 
Apple picking, my friend. I was so just around your age. What say you settle down here when you have enough question for glory? I like apple juice. And feast your eyes on this. Why not have been blessed with a harvest of likes of this? And well, as long as I can remember. All I've done is the picking, is the guardians of the forest have brought me this bounty. I'd give things myself, but what would those poachers around and I'd like to end up with an arrow through me head? How'd you be kind enough to make an offer in my stead? And on your re return, bring an apple to Castellan. He's been looking god of late. Sure. Um, I'm gonna go over here real quick. Because I got me some horns. Hope this helps, buddy. Ah, you're back. Tell me you've got the four horns with you. Sure do. You're a godsend adventurer. Please, Raga, that there are at least one woman in this place who gives a damn. Now we just need to find a way to prepare them. You wouldn't happen to know a man named Buskarin, would you? Some comrades of mine told me about him once. They said they, he never turns away folk in need, no matter where they're from. Man, that guy's super famous. Seeing as he runs a tavern, he's like to have the tools to make the medicine. I'd be grateful if you could take the horns over to him, have them ground down. When that's done, bring him batter, the powder bag. Give it to Farmer and here. Godspeed. Ah, uh, damn it. All the way over here. Actually, that's not too far away. I almost teleported like an idiot. You're gonna die, buddy. You got it. Oof. I wasn't gonna have to save you. Now I forgot what I was gonna check. There was something... I was gonna look at. Who's attacking me? Oh, fucking scared me. I thought I was gonna be the level 50. Ever since that one killed me, it, when I spawned up, I'm just like all gun shy getting randomly attacked on the road. And guess what? We're here again. Oh, faith. Ever the sight of sore, sight for sore eyes. How far is the adventuring? Rolling in the coin like there's no tomorrow to out. Hmm? You've got something to show me. Here's some horns. This isn't a, a come on. Well, these look like good old antelope horns. Antelope horn. Antelope horns. I can't. Man, I just slammed those words together. Need them ground down to making a medicine, you say? Here's a better idea. I'll give you some of the stuff I have in my stores. I am no stranger to the remedy. An owl and Megan friend once used it to treat my festering wounds years and years ago. It's safe to say you saved my life. What's that? This is for an owl and Megan soldier in quarry mail. <laughs> so it comes full circle. Well, I hope it helps the poor sod as it needs it. Oh, and don't worry your little head about pay payment. I still owe you a deal more than you owe me, I reckon. Neat. We go back there. Come on. Oh, just a fat cat. Look at the boy. He's so happy. He's adorable. Why isn't the... the fate show up? It does show up on my map. They're still fighting here, huh? Oh, I'm out leveled for that. I think. Although it didn't say sink. That could have got me to level 28 if I stayed. Eh, it's fine. Possibly. I'm into 28. Mm, it wouldn't have been ten, about 10,000 experience. Whatever's. Hey, guess what? I got your horn meal. Not you. Uh, it is well to see you returned. Have you the medicine for our brother? I sure do. God bless you, adventurer. I'll see the galley and receive treatment at once. Are we going to piss off the elementals doing this? Why are these people all drunk over there? Hopefully this will allow the captain to rest easier. It has been a terrible burden on him. Trying to keep every man alive. You've done us a great kindness, friend. It's loud. Money it is. There you go, 28. Uh, adventurer. Galleon has gone missing. He's nowhere to be found. He shouldn't be walking around, not with these wounds. If he doesn't get to the port for medicine rest, his condition is likely to deteriorate to where it was before, or worse. We need you to help us find him, and quickly, start by asking Alberta. Might as he has the woman seen something. Okay. I'm the he said, he said, she said person. Ah, finally. It's about time you came asking about Galleon. I watched him leave Quarrymail some time ago, and he left me this sealed letter before he went off. Made me swear not to open it until someone came asking. My brothers, I cannot be your to be a burden any longer. This is why I must leave you all. Do not worry for me. Just find your way safely to little Alamigo. Blast it. 
Would have known that he was thinking of softest falling myself. The love Galleon bears for his brothers is so strong he's willing to sacrifice himself for them. Make no mistake, entering the wood in his weakened state is suicide. Okay, now what? Talk to you again? Okay. You guys could talk to each other. Out in the wilds, alone! That fool! That great, big, sentimental fool! My men and I will scout the woods for Galleon. Please help us find him before something terrible happens. Okay. He ain't heavy. Are we gonna have to carry him back? Goblins. Goblins. Goblins, you say? Oh, I thought the goblins were gonna... have grabbed him. Oh, found him. Oh my god, level 45, so let's not mess with them. Watch out! A goblin! Speaking of goblin... What's up, dude? Oh, I don't have my... chocobo with me anymore. You good? Galleon! Captain, but why? You should be all on your way. Why do you take us for? We're Alamegans, and Alamegans never forsake one another. Hardships be damned. Remember the oath we swore, gods, damn it. The oath can reclaim our homeland. We'd set foot in Alamega's soil again, together, or not at all. You understand me? Uh, yes, sir. Good. Let's return to our brothers. Oh, and don't even think about it, you'll get off lightly. As soon as you're healed, I'll give you a good thorough thrashing. You'll wish we didn't find you. I think they're lovers, and he's gonna get thrashed. I can't thank you enough for saving Galleon. I will see you back at Cormill. Those guys are ripped. That's not telling me... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's one of the activatables. Ah! That's loud. Galleon expected to make a full recovery. We'll linger here until he's strong enough to take a road again. As much as I dislike... Mislike... As much as I mislike this place, beggars can't be choosers. More gla glamour prism, huh? Oh my god, more! Alright, what level are we catching up on? Highly recommended. Why doesn't that show up here? I thought that would show up in my quest log. It says level 27, but is that because I'm level 27? Oh, I guess I'm 28. Now that things are relatively settled, I seem to recall you wanted something of me. You've proven a true friend of my people. Ask me anything and it's yours, so as long as it's mine to give. The cooperation to the people of Little Alamigo? That's it all? Far be it from me to question your desires, of course. Very well. I provide you with a little letter to show to Gundavald. The old bear may was my mentor when I first joined the Resistance. He's intimidating to those who don't know him, but he takes care of his own. I have no doubt he will do all in his power to help aid you. Are we going over there? We is... What's up, AJ? It's been a minute. Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm way over time, is how it's going. <laughs> but I'm trying to catch back up on the, the main scenario quest here. Oops. How you doing? Why have you returned? You're not welcome here. I thought I made that clear. But I have a letter. It, you spoke from Alfred. It's been long since I last from her to heard from him. I feared him dead. Well, be praised. Whoever you are, Milfred sees you in a friend, and a friend of Milfred is a friend of mine. I know of this masked stranger you seek, and will tell you what I can. Sick. Funny for me. An outsider resembling your masked stranger has reportedly been appearing near, near little Alamigo of, as of late. What's more, it seems to, that some of our young bloods are meeting him in secret. No doubt you'll want to question them about their trysts. But they are not likely to yield the information really to an outsider. If you tell them I sent you, though, they may feel obliged to talk. I hope you gave me something, because I can just walk up and be like, Oh yeah, so-and-so told me. I'm not going to listen. A masked man? No idea what you're talking about. I ain't done nothing wrong, so leave me be. Okay. Uh, Gunna Bell sent you. I, uh, listen, I told them this was a bad idea. All the tribe about believing the masked man in. Oh, oh, you don't know anything about this? Why did you say so to start with? You can't... Throw the old bear's name around like that and expect me not to think I'm in for it. Uh, so she knows about something. Actually, you know what? Mount up! Are they above me? What? What's going on here? Will this gate open? Sick. Just chilling? How was your day? Is getting late for you? That was... That's where I did the, the paladin quest, right? Oh, 
Wait, there's an entrance over here. Wait, what? There's no entrance? You lied to me, game? Uncool. That guy's doing push-ups. She, she hates you. She hates everyone. What? Have I been meeting a masked man lately? Hmm, let's see. Nope, I can't say here. I'll be sure to tell my friends you are looking for him. Wow, all these people are dicks. He's about standard work, a little reading, watching streams. Nice. It's almost midnight. Yeah, it's about 11 o'clock here. There's a bunch of been skulking about... Jeez. About right suspicious. Like, but I've got nothing to do with him. I know trouble when I see him, and if that's their trouble, mark me words. All right. Now what? Go back, I guess. Chunky boy. Chunky boy. A chunk. A chunky boy. A chunk. So, you have indeed confirmed my suspicions about a masked man. That is most troubling. I changed his voice again. Whatever you, the young ones are skimming, it can lead to no good end. There's an angry anger inside them. I can see it in their eyes. I have to know. But once it burned within me as well. Two decades ago, the same anger drove me and my brothers to the rise against the despot who ruled Alamigo. Not would do but to just depose him and usher in a revolution. Well, we got a revolution all right, but it cost us our freedom. I did by our hate, we didn't realize but we had been dancing to the Empire's tune. By the time we did, it was too late. Alamigo had fallen. There are times when a man must be patient. Now is such a time. Oh, the young ones know, know this not. Unless we intervene, they are likely to commit great folly. If you learn aught of their plans, I would thank you to bring word to me. I'm getting all this dye. It's your pure paralysis, huh? Oh, hey. Hey, adventurer. You're done talking to the old bear? I get a message from you from Wilred. Lad, something of a leader among this young ones here. He's a press you've won over a Gundabold and wants a word with you. Says he'll be waiting over the craggy area north of here. Uh, you're hoping to kick me off of the, the cliff, aren't you? I'm pretty sure you guys are looking to dispose of me. Not have a word with me. Ooh. Hey, guys. Ah, don't attack me when I'm here. Oh, shit! Can I kill this thing? Oh shit, I don't have my chocobo with me. This is gonna take forever. Yep, this is gonna take a while. No eyeballs for me. Just ding. Oh shit. Unfair. Summoning a bunch of boys. This is really not cool. Wait, did I kill one? Oh, dude showed up and helping me. Like a legend. Okay. Well, I thought those were, uh, that was a special dude, but apparently not. <laughs> that was gonna take forever. It did kind of look like Jar Jar. You're right. I don't trust you, just saying. Thanks for coming, friend. There's no ordinary outsider who can gain the trust of the old bear. That's why I wanted to meet you to discuss something in private. Tell me. Why are you snooping about? Did the Empire send you? Or someone else? Coral got your tongue? Hmm? No matter. Whatever it is, whoever it is you work for, you're meddling against here. Get her. Yeah, get murdered. Come at me. Two V on me, watch what happens. Can't catch me. Too awesome at this. Why did it drop target? That was annoying. There it goes. Taking you bitches out. I win. What say you for yourself? Are you gonna talk? There you go. You, you're stronger than you look. This changes nothing. Threaten us, beat us bloody all you like, but nothing short of death can make us give up our fight. You're going to obtain the power to bring down the Emperor, and that with it we will reclaim our homeland. God damn it, come back here! Damn it! Dum dum dum. Was I just unlucky that all those summoned at once? Maybe that dude is farming them and he killed them all quickly so they all spawned at the same time. And why are those ones so huge? These ones are tiny. They're the same thing. I'd hacked by the Wilbur and his cronies that they would go to such lengths for the sake of this plan of theirs. Left to their, 
our own devices, the young fools are like to harm others, if not themselves. We must uncover the agenda and put an end to this madness. Sure, give me money. Will mention obtaining the power to bring down the empire. Of what power could he be speaking? Thunderbolt. Uh, I. Oh, I thought you were gonna. Someone was hurt. Arteliano, God's preserve. What happened? I was out forging when the Corvus Brigade came. They took me to their hideout, and they, they, the whole while they laughed at me. They said it, that I suffer because I cling to hope. Is it wrong to dream of home? Is it wrong to call ourselves Alamegans? Do not heed such poisons, notions, child. Our dreams are what will sustain us. Be strong, I swear to you. Those villains will answer for their crimes in due time. But tell me, does anyone else know of this? Wilred, he saw me outside. He was so angry. I must tend to Bartolina now. In the meantime, I need you to find out what the young ones make of this. I fear they may be doing something rash. I'm on it. Uh. Ascertain the use intentions. Do I just. Oh, there you go. There's a map. Look for shinies, I guess. Oh, just one? One map. Yeah, motorcycle. I see you. Interesting. What those animals did to. Bertiliana is unforgivable, and I think they took look down on us. Well, I'll suffer th this humiliation no more. I'm with Wa Wilbred to the bitter end. I'm not afraid of a few lizards. Okay. Good luck. Alright. Uh, who else? Oh, they must be above me. I hope. There's one. Oh, yep, they're here. There's you. Hey, jerk face. I'm still alive. Oh, Mikey Valgo, Lord of Destruction, we implore you, lend us your strength and put an end to the suffering of your people. Hmm. Here to interfere again? Well, you're too late. Our plan is already in motion. Once they have the crystals, our enemies will pay for their crimes and no one will dare oppose us ever again. Peace out. If this plan succeeds, we'll have the power to lay the Emperor low. To change the world for the better. Might be as good and bold content to eke out an existence in this musty old cave, but it'll be damned if I'm going to spend the rest of my life here. Now we're in the seven hells that I put that bloody bat. The one I found? Motorcycle! Whoa. Red dragon. Lion lizard thing. Gone. The whole t lot of them. And it's easy as, as I feared. They mean to take matters to their own hands. But that's exactly... But what exactly is, it, is that by any mean to do? I found this. And I found this. What's this? A hunting knife and a map of Zanrak. Wait, you said Wilbridge spoke of crystals, did you not? But they couldn't possibly mean to. By the gods, this is rank madness. They're gonna do some sacrifice stuff, huh? The young fools are untrained and unblooded. Blooded all. They have no notion of how dangerous the Amalja are. They'll be butchered before they get with a hundred gallons of the crystals. They are headed east. If we hurry, we may find them before it's too late. Onwards! Wrong button. I saw green and I clicked it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. He's got like a cool ass sailboat thing. Hey, idiots. You're gonna get yourself dead. Ooh, level 31. All right. We're catching up. I should have drank more orange juice. Definitely had 30 more minutes. Wilred. You know other did no other survive. This this is all wrong. Getting the crystals was supposed to be the start. We were going to reclaim our homeland. We were we Pull yourself together, lad. We were going to make an offer to the crystals to Ragar to summon him. I just like the masked man taught us. We plotted to sneak into Zanrak and make off with the lizard man's cash. But but they caught us and and so many dead. Gods, forgive me. It was set up for them, because you were the sacrifice to summon him. Heathens! Heathens, you shall pay for your crimes of your souls. What's up, dudes? I regret our young ones' transgressions, be it their soul is too high a price for youthful folly. For all their failings, they are the hope of the Alamegan people. This hope I shall guard with my life. 
We got this, boys. I think that's a healer, too. Let's go. All right. Are you any of you healers? Oh, you're a special boy. Ow. Don't hit me. I like that this guy's just chasing me. Stop healing. Oh, he's shooting at me now. Wait a minute. Did my poison not go off on you? Ow. You did 69 damage. Nice. AoEs for days. I'm helping. Alright, just kill the boss and we're good. I think. Nope. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, okay. Why can't I use that move? Fuck off. I can't use some of my moves. This sucks. I did it. I can't do my repelling shot. I don't know why. Your skill at arms is impressive, Adventurer. A wayward youth could learn much from a woman like you. This battle is won, but it would be unwise to linger here. Let's just return to our little Alamigo. Wait, we've come all this way. We have to get the crystals. They're right there, right for the picking. Have you learned nothing, Wild Red? Did you not see those tempered wretches? Such is the fate of those who were touched by a god. Is that what you desire for yourself and your friends? What? No one said anything about... Masman told us we could defeat the Empire if we summoned Ralgar. He swore. Enough. I will hear the rest of the story tale back in little Alamigo. I dare say if Haith will wish to hear it as well. Am I going to level up? Nope. Awful close, though. Yeah. Oh, this is a sanctuary. So I'm getting rested experience here. Alright, maybe I should just hang out here. No more lies, Will Red. Tell us everything. I was outside with the others when he appeared, the masked stranger. He told us about summoning Welgar, about using crystals, and then just vanished. We never saw him again. I wanted so desperately to believe that we could raise ourselves from this squalor that I never stopped to question his motives. But I should have known. There's no solution, nothing we can do to change our lot. Our people are doomed to live and die like beasts. Listen, listen to me, Will Red. Our home will not be lost to us, but we just take... But it takes more than stones and mortars to define who we are. No matter where we may be, Alamigo lives on within us all. It is for you to decide what to make of this legacy. But whatever you choose do, to do with your life, never forget that you owe it to this adventurer, an outsider. I, I won't, I promise. Thank you for saving me, and sorry I tried to kill you. I think as well, friend. It gives us hope to know that there are kind souls such as you out there. Little Alamigo may have much in the way of comfort, but you will always be welcome here. Hell yeah, dude. Would that we had more information to offer, but what Wilbred told you is the extent of our knowledge in the masked stranger. Left unchecked, that man will bring about great pain and suffering, I pray. I pray that you will find and put a swift end to this creature for the sake of the young ones who died in, the, in his poisoned words. All right. It wants us to go all the way back again. Whee! All right. We got as close as I think we can for uh, tonight. Although we gained, I think I was level 22. Was I 22? I don't remember. Or 16. I, I was 16 and I'm 28 now. Holy shit. Am I in the sanctuary now? It says I've left one. Is this considered a sanctuary? This is not considered a sanctuary. Is that motherfucker still here? With the hair. You guys are blocking the entrance. That, that guy's with the, the hair is still here. He's been there for like an hour. How has he not been logged out? Oh, I thought it was going to ask me to go to the storage room again. Welcome back, Faith. I'm reliably informed the investigation took you to Quarry Mountain, Little Alamigo. So tell me, were you able to learn aught of La Habrea? Find the knowledge of summoning in his impressionable youth, young minds, you say? Precisely the kind of deception the Asians would employ. While many of the ills that all ail the land can be attributed to the calamity, some are being brought out about by a malign will. We mu must needs delve deeper into this while things remain quiet on the primal front. Oh, well, you know, play Miss Miss Menphilia Dulcian. 
Hmm? Did you say something? N nothing, my lady. <clears throat> I have we out rest a while before speaking further in the investigation. Lentils and chestnuts. Nice. And I'm 29. While you were tending to business in Thalanon, some new information arrived courtesy of our friends, the Sylphs. An individual fight fitting Galano Bray's description has been sighted in the North Shroud. The sighting comes in the wake of a series of mysterious deaths in the same, self same area. My instincts tell me that a man is involved. I would have you continue your investigation where you left off. Well willing, we will pick up the Harbreya's trail once more. Noraxia can furnish you with the details. Pray speak with her and take it from there. As always, be careful of their faith. Alright, tell me you just... Okay, I thought it was going to take me... Or say go to Gridania, and then I would be done, but apparently not. Is Noraxia here? She's hanging out in the science guild, huh? I guess so. Walking one is to investigate sinister one. Then heed all will of this one's words. This one is friends with the walking one, Ash Crown's consortium. According to the friendly one and digging one named Meldrud, had an encounter with the scary masked one. The masked one is most certainly the, most certainly the sinister one. Walking one should go and speak with digging one, Meldrud. Digging one can be found at Falgard Float and North Shroud. All right, and with that, I can teleport back home to New Granania. <sighs> Holy crap! Way over time, it's fine. We had fun. All right. Oh, this game is still stinking fun. Um, I am less than a level for unlocking. <laughs> Who's beatboxing? Um, less than a level before becoming a bard, which then I can play music in this game, like actual songs. And I'm looking forward to that. But my friends, this is what we're going to call it. Um, I'm way over time here, so I'm not going to go for a raid. I'm an hour and a half over. I'm not going to go for a raid because I'm going to literally go shove some food in my face, feed Jada, and we're going to pass out. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I do hope you guys had fun. If you guys liked it, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. At least you know what you're, like, what you're liking and what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt a shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway. I'm basic. This itchy one here knows it's her dinner times. This is Jada. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will catch you guys tomorrow. We're going to be playing some Flynn, uh, Son of Crimson. I'm very much looking forward to that. It's a game I helped kickstart a few years ago. It's like a platformer, fighter kind of thing. And you get it. You have a giant dog. Like big fluffy boy. And uh, I'm excited to see what that's about. So hope to catch you guys tomorrow. I look forward to it. And I will catch you guys next time. See ya. You ready for bed? Are you hungry? Let's go get some food. Come on, let's go.